this has been the Cooper Cup pick, which is awesome. What? Yeah. That is right. Ooh, we are live. We are back in action for a crazy special edition of the Power 32 podcast. Boys and girls, we are ready to get underway. We have got a crazy squad with us today. I can't believe who we got in the house. This is amazing. We are doing a mock draft. That's what's up. Getting ready for all of our drafts, whether we have two, three, four, or 15. We're going to have a lot of fun right now and do this thing up. So, Let's go around. Let's say what's up to everybody. Starting to my left, I guess it would be on the screen. Mark, what's up? The gridiron guru in the house, man. How you doing? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, absolutely amazing to be involved in this live draft um, based here in just outside London in Britain. So, uh, yeah, it's absolutely privileged to be involved and to meet all you guys. And let's do this. Well, let's do this is right because the first pick is up. So let's get it going. First pick time. Who's up on deck? That would be me, the absurd viewer, and <laughs> and first time ever, I think I got the uh, first one pick, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, and see. we got for the first pick of the draft, Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan yes. Taylor. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. All right. <laughs> so who's up next? And now we got Brian is up. Well, we got two Brian's actually. That's funny. <laughs> Which Brian is this yeah. one? No, that's not me. I'm at seven. Nope, that ain't you. This is number two. This is somebody. Oh, we may have a straggler who didn't show up. All right, so they're gonna get pretty much automatically the be next best player that they have. Okay, all right. Let's try to keep going around the bench. We got, we got Timothy. Tim, what's up, man? Obstructed viewer. Hey, how's it oh, going? It's my, turn. it's my turn right now. It's you're up. Yeah, relatives of sports talk. Did that guy make a pick yet? Oh, he did make a pick. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> the cat went second. second. Cup jersey. I think everybody knows where I'm going with this. Uh, you know where I'm going. You're going with Stafford or Cup? Stafford or Cup? I got the Cup jersey on. I got a Stafford Lions jersey, but you know what I'm saying? There you go. Tell us sports talk. Cooper <laughs> Cup, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cooper Cup goes third. Triple crown winner from last year in the receiving category. All right. Cooper Cup. There we go. Mark from all the way across the pond. You're a fourth, man. I can't gonna make my pick. I'm gonna select Austin Eckler. Oh, I like that pick. Uh, I was hoping some of you're gonna sleep on him. All right. All right. All good. All good. Let's see if Antoine made it in. If Antoine is on StreamYard or if he's just doing the pick from the spot. Let's see. Antoine is up fifth. Let's see if he's going to make his pick. Let's see. Somebody went there. And he did. He got Justin Jefferson. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I got a pick between running backs here. Here we go. I think I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with Henry here. Henry. Henry. Wow. All right. He was getting picked first all the last year. Now you got him six. That's pretty good value. Yeah, I'll take BJ. That. BJ, you're up, bro. That's a good pick, man. Well, if I figure out how to do this, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> don't take a kicker. Don't take a kicker. Take a kicker. Take a kicker. Yeah, no, no, we're not doing that, no. <laughs> <laughs> that text when you click weird. on the player in the top right, when you click on the player in the top right, it'll say draft in blue. Okay. Let's As he's got 15 seconds on the clock. Uh-oh. 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 Can I pick Gami? Let's go. Did it happen? Did he make the pick? Didn't go Not through yet. it. No, no it didn't. Was this the Vikings? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, shit. He took the holes. 
But, ooh, I didn't see that. Hey, you know I'm going to leave the whole entire guy on his own only beast for you oh, guys. Come on, now. Oh, that ain't, yeah. ain't going to happen. Oh, that ain't going to happen. Ooh. Come on, now. Man. <laughs> All right. Oof. This one's come, a tough one. Come on, I'm Jason. Choose between, choose between running backs over here. Do I go with the young blood or do I go with the guy who may get hurt once in a while? Oh, man, this is a little tough on me. But you know what? Pittsburgh steal of football, baby. Najee Harris. I'm doing I like it. that. I like that. Okay. Nice. I like all right, that. all right. Okay, I feel good about my first pick. I feel good. Abe is back on. All right, let's see what Abe is going to do. I'm all right with this. I'm all right with Najee Harris. I, I can deal with that in the right now. Man. Abe's got back to back. And he, he took what Patrick Mahomes with his first one? No, not me. No, no, that was not Mahomes. All right, Joe Mixon, number nine. Mixon, number nine. All right, from former uh, AFC champion Bengals. Hmm. Let's see what he does next. The back to back action. Joe Mixon. Will he go wide receiver? Will he go running back? Will he get crazy and go tight end? So that's going to happen. Once one of us is going to go tight end, and then everybody's going to go tight end. I used to do that so much when I used to play. I was like, oh, I used to get suckered into the second round. Player. Right? You learned your lesson now? <laughs> I, I mean, I still get suckered in. But... How many times have you won? <laughs> All right, man. I got you. That's great. Wow. All right. My turn. All right. He went with Dalvin Cook. That's who I was debating before. Ah. Okay. Let me see. What do we got? What do we got? I got to stay right there, yo. You know, I'm so pissed, fellas. I pre draft my rankings, and now they're not in the order that I thought they were going to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this is close. Mm. Uh, all right. I'm going young blood. I'm going young blood. I'm staying in the AFC North. I'm going Jamar Chase. Ah, damn. All right. <laughs> all right. Hey, AFC North. Let's go. <laughs> that's a good take, Jason. Hey, so again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So far, I'm feeling all right. BJ Let's pondering see. over there right now. Well, I pick the guy, I just won't pick it. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be, man. Can you pick it? No, no, it's gonna happen. Oh man! Twenty seconds. It's clicking. It's ticking. <laughs> Who does he want? Don't pick another quarterback. Oh no! Never that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come up. Oh man! Ooh, okay now. Okay, there it is. Not there it down. is. We wait for it to happen. <laughs> Now, you know I could have let my boy go out there on the sidekick. T -t -t. Come on now, 87. Man. I'm going to get one of my boys. That's what's up. Oh, oh he's ooh. Yes. Nice. I thought about Adams instead of Chase. Oh, Adams yes, is a great sir. pick. Yeah. Oh, he's hey. the going. There you go. You love cars. So I, I, mean, I like you too, man. Antoine got – oh, okay. All right. Antoine got a nice pick right there also. He ain't throwing it to no receivers. He don't trust nobody. Aaron Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aaron Jones. Oh, talk about PPR. That's nice right there. I like that. Yeah, really nice pick. Because like he don't trust the receivers, yo. You're right. You're right. They got to wait to figure out who we going to be. All right. Tyreek Hill. Oh, Tyreek Hill. I lined up and five got six right away. It was like thinking one of them would come to me. None of them did. So we're going to go with the guy that <laughs> a lot, gets a lot of carries because of the situation in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Nick Chubb. Chubb. Yeah, cool. yeah. So I That's think you'll see, I have a feeling you'll see a lot of him. And we'll go with this guy for my here. Go with uh, Debo in San Francisco. Ah. 
Hey, Jason, you saw Tyreek Hill go way below the people we had in that top 10, right? I saw that. Listen, I kill. Like, Damn, I'm like, yo, this guy still is. I think they're talking about because like, maybe you're not two or no more, so that's why people are freaking out. But come on, I'm telling you, bro, yeah. it's my turn. Oh, He's goodness still- gracious, he just fell to me there. <laughs> you got lucky with that one, man. I ain't even gonna play. I mean, you I re- kill, to me. <laughs> <laughs> who else is gonna get the ball for that offense? Gee whiz, I mean, damn. Nice pick, dude. Who else is Very gonna nice get the ball? <laughs> no, nope, CD's a nice pick. That's you're killing it right now. Are you killing it? Ooh. Let's see what my, my man from across the pond can pull out right now. What do you got, Mark? Well, I'm gonna uh, go with the trifecta and running back. So I think this guy's gonna have an awesome season and uh, we'll offer a lot with PPR. I'm gonna draft Saquon Barkley. Oh, okay, okay. Big risk reward right there. I think yeah, okay. big risk reward. Definitely huge, big risk reward right there. But you know what? The reward could be tremendous because that guy still has got legs probably like a 20-year-old, you would think, because he ain't run that much. <laughs> Psych <Psychos. laughs> Let's see what Darren's going to pull off over here. Darren, who do you got so far? Uh, I got Adams and Henry so far here. I think I'm going to go, oh, go a little bit on a limb. I'm going to go quarterback. I just trust this guy out of the West. Maybe because I can watch more of his games. I'm going to go Herbert out here. The MVP, Herbert. MVP. Yeah, he, he might be. That's a lot of people yeah. saying. I mean, uh, <laughs> I believe him. I believe him. You be early, man. I hear you. I hear you. I, me, I, well, I'm not going to get my strategy away now. We're still playing. <laughs> Yeah, BJ goes and I go. All right, I got a couple of picks coming up over here. I got to make good on this. Man. BJ, well, who do you got so far? I'm, I'm trying to look, man, because I wanted Debo, but he took Debo for me. Mm-hmm. So I got a couple guys I'm looking to hear. I'm trying to decide. Christ. I know. It's like this. It's, a, it's an important thing. It's like you got two guys, you got to weigh them out. You got to make the right decision. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm right. queuing up play as well. Ready? Let's go with this guy. Yeah. That's not that's, that's, not, a, that's not a bad pick. Kamara. I thought it was Kamara. That's a good pick. Oh, that is a yeah. good pick. I had him on my list, man. Damn. All right. That's a nice pick. Um, I don't do this too often, but I want to see how the rest of it shakes out. I'm going to go to Lamar Jackson's best and probably only target. I'll take Mark Andrews at tight end. Not bad. Thought about him, too. I know he's going to get the ball. How much I can tell you. All right, let's see. Who we got? I think Abe is up right now. Ah, man. Well, while Abe goes, let's see. Uh, whoever. Yeah, yeah, we got – uh, Brian, is on your team right now? Say that again? BJ, who's on your team right now? Who you got so far? I got uh, Kamara, uh, Mahomes, and uh, Kelsey. All right. Ooh. You got that combo. Hey, what about you? Who do you got right now? Uh, shoot, I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> I got another pick. I just picked up Pittman Jr. I got Dalvin oh, Cook, okay. Pitt, Pittman Jr., and I got another pick. Hold on one second. Cook, Pittman, that's all right. Not bad. Don't take my guy, man. Come on. I go after you. Don't mess around. Uh, I got your guy right here, Jason. <laughs> no, no. Don't do it. Yeah, Don't I got it. your guy right there. What's up with you, man? Come on now. What the hell are you crazy? I mean, you're lucky I picked a tight end already. People taking my 49ers early over here. Damn. Come on. Now. All right. <laughs> I'm going with Captain Consistency over here. And one of y'all drafted Herbert, but I'm going to take a wide receiver away from you right now. Give me Keenan Allen. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. That's perfect. I done did you dirty. <laughs> yeah, you did me dirty because that was my next pick. <laughs> um, I was going to take him instead of Pittman, too. I know. Uh, it's, like, it's like everybody, looking, everybody on, on the wide receiver board now is like it, it's like risk reward. Like they could have a great season That's or they right. could really suck. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I look at the quarterback who's throwing him the ball. Mm. 
Yeah, I know. I gotta, I gotta weigh that part of it too. Um, and Keenan Allen was a good pick. I am AFC I, I got Chase Harris and Andrews Allen. Oh, I like my team. Come on. Oh, got ten seconds, dog. I know. I don't want to pick him. I'm. I'm uh, crap. Let's go with. <laughs> Let's go with this guy. <laughs> Don't take my guy. You study it so long. AJ Brown, that's not bad. <laughs> that's, too hard a, now. that's a good AJ. Pick. Yeah. I think that Joe, I think that him and uh Kalen Hurts will pick it up, you know, somewhere that week three or four. I like that. Uh I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Darren's up right now. All right. Darren, yeah. while you're going, um let me see. Yo, uh yeah, Tim, what who you got on your team so far? I have Jonathan Taylor. I got oh Devo Samuel, and I got Nick Chubb. Damn, mm. that's a good squad. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good. Let's we'll see what Darren, Darren. You make your pick yet? Let's yeah, see. I took T. Higgins. I think it's Higgins. Higgins. That, that's solid, man. If Chase is going to get a lot of a lot of looks, then why not? Yeah. People All right, Antoine took. Antoine took Leonard Fournette. I like that Higgins pick, though, man. That was good. That, that's yeah. a good one. I don't care what round it is. If you think a guy's going to play well, then you go get him. I like that. Yeah, I thought he – I just like – I love Burrow. I just feel like with him in there, I feel like they could pass enough. He gets those short targets sometimes. Yeah, yeah man, for sure. Down. Like that. That's doing – who's up now? All right, we got Mark. He's got 25 seconds. And then hear the rest of his team after he makes his pick. Yeah, I'm going to make my first selection at the wide receiver position. I'm going to go with uh, DJ Moore, the Carolina Panthers. Nice. nice pick. Nice pick. Yeah. Does well, regardless of the quarterback. <laughs> yeah, right. That's. He does have Baker this year, so that might help a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yep. I did. The guy can get open. That's one thing. So if you're an NFL quarterback, you wide open receiver. You don't belong. And he's he's fast too. That's the other thing. Then again, yeah. if you're going against the Falcons, anybody's fast. Terrell is up right now. Mark, who else you got in your squad, real quick? Okay, uh, when I opened up with the first three picks with running back, I first of all went with Eckler, then I went with Swift, and then I went with Barkley. And the reason why I picked those three is because they've got great PPR upside. They're not only going to get a lot of touches running the ball, but they're also going to be used out of the, the backfield. And uh, they all potentially can be three down back. So I think I'm going to get a lot of looks, which obviously is really important for accruing points. All right. All right. That makes Barkley. a hell of a lot of sense. All nice right. So Jalen Hurts went this guy right here. Mr. Pitt. Pitt. Mr. Pitt. And who's the border? Because I know this guy yeah. will not be around. When, I think when he gets back to me, we'll go with Burrow. Ah man. Hey, oh, okay. Hot, right. I'll get. He'll come back to me like that. Yeah, there goes my combo between him and Jim Chase. So that's out. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. No problem. <laughs> it's, not, hey, it's not all about you, Jason. <laughs> now nah, you're right. You're right. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be all about me. Maybe just once in my life it'll be about me. I'll get lucky. <laughs> Let's see what Brian does over here. Uh, uh, whose team haven't I got to yet? Hmm, actually. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So Mike Williams just went. Jalen Hurts went. Ezekiel Elliott went. Jay Who's a Jalen Hurts? I mean, I like him. Don't get me wrong. That been. All right. And I'm gonna go like rush. I'm gonna go and get this combo also right there. So make that happen. Nice. You got her. Ooh. Yeah. That's he a good. Throw the ball down the field, so he's gonna throw it to the tight end. <laughs> <laughs> that is sneaky good. I like that. Got it, man. Totally underrated. And since Ertz left, he's been lighting it up, no doubt. All right, Mark, you got a bunch of good running backs. Let's see. You're gonna go a different position this time. 
Yeah, well, I opened up with DJ Moore to receive a position. I'm now going to add my second receiver, and I really like Deontay Johnson. Uh, I think he's got. Okay. Great, I think he's got great hands, and I think he'll get a lot of receptions in this offense. So, there I go. Man, yeah, whether it's Trubisky or Pickett, one of them is going to have to get him the damn ball. Yeah, for sure. All right, Rudolph. I was hoping he would have filled. So ah, that's one to Dave Williams. Oh, that's a good pick late, too. 41st that's right. pick. That's what I was That's exactly nah, what man. He's, yeah. he's sharing picks with Melvin Gordon. That ain't yeah, Melvin Gordon's still there, man. I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. I, I feel like I'm, they're going to get to the whole one. I'm a Broncos fan, man. Yeah. I'm a Broncos fan, and I don't – I mean, it's not a bad pick. Don't get me wrong, but he's he's sharing carries. I'm gonna. So, you think he's going to still be sharing a lot with Melvin Gordon? I thought that he would get yes. maybe 75% of the carries. Okay. No, All right. He, maybe that's good for us. <laughs> it's not a bad pick. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Darren Knights getting uh, getting your brother Darren over there, Waller. Good job with that one. What a great name. What a great name. Right? Come on. <laughs> But he needs two R's. You only need one R to figure your name out. Well, I was thinking about it with him too. Like you know, with Adams and Waller. Do I want both of them? But I, at times, I think that can pay off. So I, 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 when you have two players like that, yes, I agree with you. I agree. As BJ contemplates over here, don't pick What's him, BJ. Here? Well, I got to think. Well, I'm going to take him. Don't yeah. pick who? <laughs> who I want? <laughs> <laughs> you got to worry about him going. Two more times and me twice, too. I got a couple of guys in mind there. Mm, yeah, I got a couple of guys in mind, too, here. Glad I took two running backs. I'm well, Shit, I should have taken another running back. I got William. Who are your running backs, Jason? Right now, I only got uh, Nathan Harris. He took – who'd you take? Yeah. yeah, I took a Travis ETN out of Jacksonville. I think he's going to oh, have a big man. year. Woo! Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So I got Kamira and ETN in the backfield, man. So man, that's, that's a good, good pick. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. I'm working. The Clemson link with Trevor Lawrence. Man, Chicago ain't got nothing going on. Oh, who am I going to pick right now? This is killing me. They could be. They could be the worst team in the league this year, to be honest. I know they could be like extremely terrible. You ain't kidding. Oof. Them, um, is, oh. them is Seattle. Seattle is ooh. Seattle. Yeah, they are a doormat. Woo, what are you a doormat? Hey, who's there, the I gotta say about Carroll, he gets those guys to play all the time. So I don't know yeah. if Seattle's gonna be as bad as what people Terry, need Terry. They need a quarterback. <laughs> they do. Bad I feel yeah. like they did that on purpose this year. I feel like they did. Drew Locke's Drew not Locke bad. Sucks. But... Geno Smith has sucked since he entered the league. They ain't got a quarterback. Yeah, they don't have a quarterback, but... <laughs> hey, Drew Locke got an arm, but if he was accurate, he would be a better, way better quarterback. He has more turnovers than little Debbie. I mean, you can't trust him. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's funny. Man. <sighs> All right. Two picks for uh, for Abe over here. I picked Terry McLaurin. Lamar I Jackson, like baby. It, Harry, I like Lamar. It. I'm a Commanders fan anyway, so that's all I can cheer for is him. That's why I play, that's why I play fantasy football, being a Commanders fan. Yeah. <laughs> you, have my condolences. you have my condolences, sir. That's whoo. It's going to be a long it. year. going to be a long year. Sorry. Sorry. I got, I'm in four leagues, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got room to mess up. It's all good. <laughs> four leagues. All right. It's on you, Jason. All right. Just to Corlin Sutton. Okay. With the end, get Patrick out. He's going to get a lot more looks. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance on this guy because I'm hoping that Andy Reid starts using him like he used Brian Westbrook. I'm going to go with CEH, Clyde Everett Select. Oh yeah. I don't know. I saw a lot of McKinnon. McKinnon's been throwing up a lot lately. Damn, damn. I know McKinnon. Wasted the pig, brother. You just wasted the pig. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. All those players out there, you took C E H. Who? Yeah, he would have. They've been wanting Clyde Edwards to wear to be the, the the second coming of Brian Westbrook since they drafted him. He's not the guy. Jared mm, McKinnon is going to steal his job at some point this year. Mark my words. 
I'm going to have to draft him at some point. You all better not draft him then. <laughs> I'm going to need him to back me up. Coach <laughs> itself, draft McKinnon. Got it. Right, 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 Let me get this guy. <laughs> I, I'm hoping it pays off. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to pay off. Uh, let's see who we got. BJ's making the pick right now. The clock ticking. Hey, I just want to say, I don't know if anybody saw me take Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. If he stays healthy. You got yourself an MVP sort of dude. Yes, sir. All right, Allen yeah, Robinson. Definitely. Yeah. Allen Robinson, great Lamar hit. Great hit. hit. Uh, sure, I can take two Terrell saying, <laughs> loves a great pick. I think, he's gonna, be, I think he's gonna be a. I think he's gonna be big. No, I agree. I agree. A lot of attention being paid to Cooper Cup. He'll get singled up. Allen Robinson, yeah, if he develops a poor Matthew Stafford. Hey, no Robert doubt. Woods. Robert Woods won a lot of games for me last year. Yeah, mm, for real. He's in that role. You're right. Let's see what Darren does. Darren's got himself a good squad going on. Let's see if he, what he adds on to it. Make well, a better we, pick than I. I feel like we were taking we were talking so highly of the Seattle quarterbacks. I feel like somebody still has to catch the ball. So I better go DK. DJ Metcalf, find you. Yeah. Somebody's got to catch it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. He'll catch it I'm because he's going to throw over throw. He was going to throw him, him and Drew Rock's going to overthrow him. So I mean, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> If you overthrowing DK Metcalf, that's a prop. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to do it. Watch. He, he's going to do it. Just watch and see. Oh, I agree. Oh, I'm with James Conner. All right. There's still some players out here. Yeah. yeah really I'm, I'm, I'm on the board now, and um, I'm quite surprised this player's fallen. He got the rookie record last year for 104 receptions in a season. So I'm going to go for my last flex position. It also doesn't clash uh, with the buys. With a, I haven't got any players that have got a buy of week 11. So I'm going to select Jalen Waddle. Nice. Jalen, I thought he was going. That's a good nice pick. pick. Right. Nice pick. Yeah. Good pick. They will be spreading the ball around over there. Playmaker. So I, I like it, Mark. I like it. And, and how Mike McDaniel is there with the zone running scheme. I think right. uh, we've obviously, with, with teams loading up the box, I think he's going to get a lot of one on ones. That changes things, man. No, you're right. That makes sense. That's a good call. That's a good call. Thank you. As Terrell uh, makes hey, his pick now. He was the now. first running back drafted in the NFL. I think that offense is explosive with all them weapons, whether whether it's Flacco or not. I'm going to take the young boy. Yeah? Okay. Okay, no doubt. No doubt. Let's see how much time him and Michael Carter go through, but I think Brees Hall will be the guy the before the end of the year. Yeah, Unlike yeah they the drafted him all for a reason. He's the man. Unlike CEA. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. They drafted Hall for a reason. You got that right. You, good point. Good point. <laughs> I got a little making up for you over here. That's all right. I'll, I'll make my comeback. It's coming. Oh, Brandon Cooks. That's a nice one. All right. That was a good one. Brandon Cooks. A nice pick there, Brian. That was a good one. With Tyreek out of Kansas City, I, I think this, will, this guy will have a big year. Uh, having the ball thrown thrown shit from the homes and Juju. I'm going to get the Juju. My team. Okay. Juju. Mm. Ball's got to go somewhere. Yeah. That's a good pick. Ball, ball got to go somewhere. They got a few wide receivers out there. We'll see who's going to emerge as the number one if they actually do have one. Now you got another pick now, too. And That's also going, going back to a running back. And maybe not picking. I apologize for this. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in trouble now. If it is who I think it is, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> probably not going to do that one. Actually, I'm going to take David Montgomery. <laughs> Not probably. Right. Somebody's got to run the ball in Chicago. Yeah, let, let's see if they can block for him. Yeah. Yeah. Dalton Schultz. All right, all right. Oh, wow. Terrell, you're up now. You got a pretty good squad going yourself over here. When he gets super healthy right here, and he might not be ready week one or not, 
That's why I got the young boy to start. He's going to be the ball carrier. He's the guy in Baltimore. That's a nice one, man. That's a hell of a good pick right there. No doubt. They took him off the PUP list. That that's that's a nice pick. Yep. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Mark, you're up again. Okay. Um Mark's got. He's got himself a good good slate of running backs over there. Did you get a quarterback in, Mark? No, not yet. I'm going to draft that a bit late. Um, I was looking for – I was going to take a bit of a gamble. I can't see if I can see – oh, yeah. Going to take a gamble. Got the uh, receiving record for 149 receptions in 2019. Could be a resurgence this year. Michael Thomas. All right. Okay. Sweat boy. Yeah, really it's Sweat <laughs> Boy. So I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going for all these guys with all the records in the past and hoping they're going to uh, push on from that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Johnson, very happy. Oh, all right. Antoine took Kyler Murray. I'm glad he's gone. I don't want no part of him. That's oh, good. I was gonna get him. I don't want him, man. He's three feet tall. I don't want him. <laughs> wow. Three feet, and he got way too much damn money. He is not yes. better than Sean Watson, even though Sean Watson too much money. <laughs> too much damn money. So would you rather pay Lamar Jackson all that money? Yes. Hell, yeah, I'd rather pay him yes. all that money. He can't, pay Lamar. he can't throw the ball. <laughs> yeah. He's 36. He can't throw the ball. What? Yes. What? Can Tebow throw the ball? Whoa, whoa, you don't need to hey, throw hey, for no hey, that's, Now, that's disrespectful. Oh, okay. Don't make that comparison. That's, okay. that's disrespectful. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> Tebow to Lamar. That, that's disrespectful. You're Come right, on now. Right, you're right, you're right. Tebow. I got agree with Brian. Dollar. He's a family dollar version of Lamar. How about that? <laughs> Aaron, Jerry, Judy. He did right. <laughs> Jerry, Judy, good pick. Okay. All right, BJ, you go. Then uh, I got one. Then you go. No, who's up? Yeah, BJ's up. BJ's up. I can't believe Cam Akers okay. is still up. Y'all are crazy. Yo, shh, quiet, man. Oh, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you, 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 you can't tell our business now. You got to stop. <laughs> Don't be doing that to me. <laughs> I mean, he took CEH. Cam Akers is right there. What's going on, dude? I know. I know. I know. I mean, you should be mad at me for saying that. You took CEH. I mean, come on, bro. My rankings aren't in front of me. I have made my real rankings, and now they're not that. They're the stupid Yahoo rankings. I don't, it's not working for me. <laughs> yeah, Yahoo. <laughs> oh, damn. BJ, don't get me angry, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to decide. Let's go. Let's go with this guy. I think he's, I think he's on the end of a good year. I was thinking about him, too. Not the bad. Is be not happy, boy. All right, let me make up for my CEH pick right now, all right? Here we go. Let me get there my boy. Come on down. Damn it. <laughs> you, you asshole. That's who I wanted, man. I'm sorry. I'm so, I am an asshole. Who did he Who did he take? Mitchell. 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 Ooh. That's good pick. Late. Huh? Nice at all. You ain't nice at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's my niner, baby. Ooh, and I got another one coming up. I'm gonna bust you all up. There's Cam Akers. You see, you had to open your mouth. There goes Cam Akers. Goodbye. <laughs> you had chances to get him. Bro. That's true. He's been around for a minute. <laughs> uh, who else do I want? Who else do I want? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Y'all are gonna love my next pick. As long as I'm not one of the two guys I'm looking at, you're fine. <laughs> I hope for your sake it's not. I hope not. But I got a good idea over here. All right. Well, you didn't take him. Hunter Rent, that's a nice pick. PPR. Good job. Um, yo, this dude balled last year and it took him a while to ball out because they didn't know him yet, but now they know he is number 14 on the Detroit Lions. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Let's go. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Hey man. Good pick. Damn you, Jason. You took you, you took one of the guys I wanted, man. Now, now I gotta find <laughs> Now you gotta give it back to me now. <laughs> hey, that oh, was oh, it's coming. Uh, I'm feeling better about my team a little bit over here. Darren, what's your team looking like right now? 
I like it a little bit. I need some more running backs probably here going forward. And I obviously, but I got, I like my receiving depth there. Got Adams, got Higgins, got, got Metcalf and Judy. So I like the receivers That's there. Pretty good. That's I got pretty Waller's good. tight end too. So. Whoops. That is nice. That Waller's is nice. a good pick. BJ's pondering his team right now. Terrell, what's your team look like right now? I got Jalen Hurts, Cooper Cup, CD Lamb, Aaron Jones, Brees Hall, Dallas Goddard, J.K. Dobbins. And my next nice. team to fit the whole team all together. Woo! All right, Jason, one niner. Forget another niner. Come on down. <laughs> my next pick is going to be a one. Did BJ take AJ out? AJ Dillon's a beast. Josh Jacobs and I, I, I that's good value that late. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, it is. I feel like Jacobs is that running back where he'll, he'll like. Oh, it's my screw. turn next. Let's go. Jacobs will like screw you, screw you over for a couple of weeks and then he'll help you for a couple of weeks. Jacobs, that's right? right. Yeah. Yeah. Jacobs, yeah, that's true. He's like another wide receiver that's on the board. I'm not going to mention who shows up every three or four weeks. Yeah. Cool. I think we'll probably all know I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps getting traded, not worth money. All right. Okay. I'm going to look at the quarterback position now, and uh -huh. um, I'm going to select Tom Brady. Yo, I think Brady's – honestly, Brady, I think, could lead the league in touchdowns oh. and yards this year. Tom Brady. You got all the wide receivers, Godwin, Evans. I mean, now comes in Julio Jones, whatever you want to say, even Russell Gage. It's not bad. Yeah, Russell Gage. Yeah. Here it is, Jason. Tie it all together, baby. Tie it all together. <laughs> Possibly is the best wide receiver in football when he's not injured or suspended. I got Cooper Cup and CeeDee Lamb, who's going to play every week until his bye week, week seven. By that time, D-Hop's back, baby. <laughs> Yo, seriously, there you go. That's not. I was wondering who's going to take him when. I've been thinking about it. Nice. Cup and Lamb's going to play every week. I can wait on D-Hop. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The team you're putting together right now, you could afford to do that. You're right. right. It's not bad at all, man. That's pretty cool. Let me see. All my see my different too. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> yeah. BJ, oh, what your team look like? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I got Mahomes, AJ Brown, Allen Robinson, Alvin Kamara, Travis Etienne, Travis Kelsey, Gabriel Davis, and AJ Dillon. Pretty damn good. You might be starting AJ Dillon before you know it too. That guy's a beast, man. Him and Aaron yeah. Jones could play at the same time. You guys are drafting pretty damn good, man. I didn't know you're all gonna be this good. I should have done more homework. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Y'all killing it right now. Still see some players I like though. We got a long way to go still. Woo. Hey, so Aaron Rodgers last year probably would have been gone already. I feel like there's a lot of good receivers. They're all. They're very plentiful. Yeah. A lot of good receivers left. Yeah. There are. Surprisingly, there really are a lot of good receivers left. I guess maybe that's because the league we're in now. I don't know if that makes sense to you because yeah, I was thinking about throwing that, people over. The got, you know, we've been playing fantasy football probably for a while. And that was when you you had to take a running back in the first two rounds. You had to take a yeah, yeah, right, exactly. You had to. It was like automatic. Well, nice back to back picks. Damian Harris and Adam Thielen. Yep. Very nice. I'm surprised Harris is so up. Uh, Ayuk. For a while because people get the bulk in New England. Who just took Brandon Ayuk? Yeah, yeah. I was Come surprised, on, man. man. Ooh, Ayuk. Oof. Oof. I love my 49ers of fantasy studs now. Usually you had to wait like until the 10th round to pick a 49er, but now we're, we're in the game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terrell's up. Let's see. I'm going to stick with the young guns. This guy right here has no competition. No competition. Rex Burkhead is not no competition. He will start in that offense with David Mills. There you go. That's interesting. All right. That's Yeah, no. I think that's great. Young running backs are the way to go, man. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Especially that late. Right? Yeah, 75th pick overall. I don't trust no, Sharp, that's really all these other guys that's up here. I'm going for the guy that's going to be the starter. That's a good no, call. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, right. You want somebody who's going to be getting the ball, obviously, at least to start the season out. My boy Gibson will lose his job. Buffalo throws yeah. it. 
Sanders, who, he sucks. Penny's going to lose his job. Always hurt. Yep. You know Philly's going to be trading for a running back in the next day or two. There's no that about it. Kareem Hunt? I heard they're not interested, but that would be a great fit. I agree. That would be a hell of a fit. Yeah. Well, Mark, you got your quarterback? Well, I've got – yeah, I've gone for Russell Wilson and Tom Brady prior because, obviously, you've got to think when they're out for a bye week. So, oh, um, yeah. you know, they, they don't they don't clash on the buys. One's by nine, the other's by 11. So, you know, I've got the options, who to start, looking at the matchups, et cetera. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that pick. I can dig it. Darren, Robert Woods, back on I'm with uh, Tennessee right now. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, Malik Willis is pretty good in preseason, huh? Yeah. He did. Yes, he did. Uh, maybe I listened to too many Tennessee podcasts. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see if BG is a damn make... good player on the Rams, though. He's a damn good player. Oh, he's right. a big one over there. He's that's yeah. a good pick. <clears throat> that's a great pick. Traylon ain't looking like they thought he was gonna look. He ain't gonna be no number one wide receiver this year, so I agree with that. They're gonna be looking yeah. more to a rock Robert this way. Wood. That makes sense. Yeah. He can catch like 10 balls a game, that guy. He's, he's that good. I mean, he's going to get 170 catches in a year, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, he, he's good for like 10 a game. He can really is do he that. A, is he out of USC or Oklahoma State? What am I thinking? Is he USC? Oh, I'm bad with that. I'm terrible at oh, college. USC. He's a USC. I don't even know where I went to school. I'm terrible for colleges, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you pick up? Christian Kirk, all right. The most highest paid ridiculous wide receiver of all time. I love it. <laughs> 22 million a season. Good Lord. <laughs> Ooh, There's quarterback that. over here. Quarterback. Oh, man. I do need a quarterback right now. Normally, I'd wait a little bit longer, but we're in round nine. And, yo, I know that you picked Waller and Devonta Adams, so this could hurt me picking Derek Carr right here. But I think Carr's going to have a monster year. I'll go with him. <laughs> Yeah, as a Raiders fan too, I I like Tar, but I, it's hard for me to f- go full in on him yet. But I like him for yeah, fans. Like yeah. Old like Raider. Fans. Yeah, I think Waller Henfro or Henfro. Listen to me, Roger <laughs> Henfro. <laughs> Same, thing. <laughs> Same thing. I was there a Hunter Renfro in baseball too. Like that's such a weird name, and they have one in baseball and in football. That's so strange. Yeah, well, last time yeah. all different. Though. Yeah, man. I forgot uh, that you're you're right. I forgot about the one in baseball. <laughs> right? Wow. You think of my nine is defense, Abe? What the yes, hell? Wow. I took my defense. Wow. My defense wow. from Who did that? Abe, who's not even who didn't even show up in the room today. I'm mad at you about that one, Abe. I'm mad <laughs> what, about what, the f- what did nine do? Hmm. Wow. No, I said Abe, Abe didn't show up. Oh. Hey, I got I got another one for you, bro. Oh boy, here we go. There you go. I got him in my queue. He was in my queue. That's good. No. What's up with this? Why did you just do that? No. Back up is good. Great pick. Great pick. You are busting me up right now. That was a horrible pick. (laughs) You know what a horrible pick? Because I didn't pick him. That's a horrible pick. We need guys who are going to get the ball, right? Yo, at least they're going to give him the ball at the beginning of the season. We'll see how the rest of the year goes. But I need me another start and running back. Ah, some of the guys I want out there, I'll wait on them. I'll take uh, – I'm going to take Antonio Gibson. I'm going to take him. I like it. You start the well, year. I'm I'll take it this late. Wow. Well, I need me a this- quarterback then. Trey Lance has magically disappeared and the rest of these guys, I'm kind of like, yeah. <laughs> I know, Justin right? Fields, <laughs> Justin Fields is mid. I'm not really a believer in Tua. I think Trevor Lawrence is a year away. Mm. Daniel Jones is a trash bucket. Um, just <laughs> being <laughs> nice. Yeah, still, I, I mean, still, yeah. there are three four good ones still left. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I mean, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to have that great of a year this year. I agree. I agree. Man, you got Stafford. Stafford, Stafford, Prescott still around. Cousins. Ooh, I don't. I don't want to say. Anything. I mean, Dak's offensive line. Dak's offensive line is is a current style, and Kirk Cousins can't be depended on to really win. So, let's go on Matthew Stafford. There you go. All right, that's not a bad. Pick. At this not a bad pick. 
at the late this late of the draft, I go with guys like Kareem Hunt. Just in case Chubb gets hurt, I know he'll be the main guy. Right, right. Yeah. Or he gets traded somewhere, you know, like <laughs> that Philly. too. That too. That too. <laughs> One or the other. Oh guys. man, let's see who Antoine's gonna take right now. He took uh oh the best kicker that ever lived, Justin Tucker. Okay, oh, that's oh, early that's for me. I would never take a kicker. That yeah, no, nah, no, nah. you got you got a couple more rounds for you to do that. Yeah, I got to, I'm waiting to the last day. I don't even I'll tell you all I'm waiting to the last <laughs> round to pick my kicker. Oh, you <laughs> you're gonna get a third <laughs> kicker in. You you'll be waiting that long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the hell is going to be kicking damn field goals on Sunday. That's a crapshoot, man. I don't know. I stay away from that. not a crapshoot. Uh, do no, you he, think they should not allow kickers in the NFL? Or is that what we're saying? Or you just don't like kickers? No, they should be. No, I don't know. I don't even know why it's called football. It's the stupidest thing in the entire world. It makes no sense whatsoever. The name is stupid. They should get punters out. They should throw it off instead. And as far as kicking Good field pick. goals, nah. Good pick. Good pick. Yeah, don't Who's know. Oh, Mooney, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, the only really other that. Pick. Yeah, really good pick. Yeah, yeah because – yeah, about this guy? Y'all, yeah, the just sample, y'all. Healthy, just because he's not perfectly yeah. healthy right now. God, Chris Lynn, baby. What are we doing? Yeah, he's a beast. No, Chris – oh, man. Oh, he's a great – What are we doing? He's a great pick, bro. He's a great pick. If I didn't get over – he going to play? Oh, he's oh, already – get ready to play. That's a great pick, Chris Godwin. Wow. I had him last year, and he was money until he got hurt. So, I'm with you. That's a great pick. No AB there to take away. I'm not worried about nobody else. No. Just in case this guy can get his rookie wide receivers going, go for, go for the greats. I know people aren't high on him, but okay. he's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. You know, he ain't going to get you negative points, so that's a good thing. I mean, he's gonna yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, and as long as he can sell off those psychedelic drugs, I think he'll be just fine. <laughs> like, what are you thinking about, bro? Like, what? I'm just yeah, I, don't know what he, I don't know what he thinks most of the time. I really don't. Nobody he's, does. That's, that's, that's the problem. problem. That's exactly. <laughs> what the hell's going on with that man? Right. Not a clue. <laughs> he's yeah. He lives in his own world, man. That's just it. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Literally is correct. His own damn word, and he don't give a damn, or at least he portrays like he don't give a damn. I think he gives a damn. He, he I, a I don't think he does. I just damn it, man. Whoever one of those brown. Had to go Hollywood a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. You uh, so Hollywood. Keep falling, man. Man. Might Brown's game or two for his off-field issue, but not bad pick, I think. That's good no, that's no, that's good. That is good. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, hopefully he lives and learns, you know, from from that sort of thing. I hate that. You know, DUI is getting pulled over. You going a thousand miles an hour? Yeah, yeah. Got to be careful. Be careful. Just because you're in the NFL doesn't mean that you can do whatever the hell you want. You are not invincible. Nope. No, nope. you're not. As as we've seen, as we've seen. Even though phew, lots of work. Anyway. <laughs> what do we got? Right. I got Derek Carr. I got Jamar Chase, Keenan Allen, Najee Harris, uh, running back that plays for Kansas City. I'm not going to mention his name. Mark Andrews, Terry McLaurin, Eli Mitchell, Antonio Gibson, and uh, St. Brown for Detroit. I'm all right with my team. Yes, I'm better. I'm all right with my team. I think that. Really? Who should you just grab, uh, uh, Terrell? Ryan Robinson. Team. My team is built for the playoffs, baby. Oh, look at you thinking ahead. I love it. All My right. My team's built for the playoffs. This man we is thinking ahead. Where I'm from, we win championship ring. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice. All right, Rashard Bateman, Mark. All right, there you go. I mean, he's, if it's not Mark Andrews, it's got to be him. Devin Singletary, interesting pick. Oh, Alan Lazard, I wanted him. Damn, yo, Darren, that's messed up. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good value, Nick. Good value. Yes. That's, that's going to be his number one guy for the for the beginning of the season, at least, you think, right? Yeah. That's a good pick, man. Oh, Might be his number one guy the whole, the whole year because, I mean, who do they really real. have to throw the ball to? You're right. Yeah, that's You're 100% right. You really are. Ooh, oh, I'm, I want this guy. I want this next guy. I hope that 
I know BJ is a smart dude. I just hope he's not too smart right now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. In front of pick. Let me see. We got. We got. Man, that was oh, Alan Lazard. That was a good one, Darren. Damn, I wanted him. That was going to be my next pick. Was. Yeah, yeah, past his. <laughs> <laughs> He runs so many of those damn wide receiver screens. Somebody's got to get. <laughs> and he's a big dude too. Oh, the Rams defense. Nice. They can get you a bunch of turnovers. That's pretty good. I like. It. Nobody does yeah. the salary cap better. So let me explain real quick why I'm taking this guy right picks. next. In the words of Lesney. Why are you taking this guy? Take yeah, Lesney. Yeah, I'll spend money all over the damn place. Yo, I'm taking this guy because they play from behind, and he is emerging as a star right now. And if you know the NFL, you know that this man right here, Elijah Moore. I got me another Elijah. Elijah went to the Jets. He's a burner. Joe Flacco throws it down the field. You know it, baby. You know it. Yeah, somebody can throw the football. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can throw the deep ball. We can throw the deep ball. It's just a matter of where it goes to. Clay Pools, I will. No, no, man, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zach Wilson. He, he's got a good arm. I don't know where the hell the ball is going sometimes. He's not throwing the ball to the other team. Yeah, he's got a good arm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go again. Oh, Melvin Gordon. All right. All right. So there goes Gordon a little bit late. Um, I think I'm going to save that guy. Uh, no, you guys are smart. You know what? I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because I'm thinking playoffs, too. I'm thinking playoffs, too, because I know I'm going to get there. Um. You know what? Dude, I don't know. Well, yeah, well, he ain't going to be playing that much if you guys make fun of me. But I'll tell you who's going to be playing around week six. He's going to be taking the starting job away from your boy, Devin Singletary. I'll go with James Cook. I like that pick. He looked really good yesterday. He looked really, really good yesterday. Yeah, he's solid. I like him. He's a solid player. I'm thinking, you know, I got three drafts coming up. He's definitely on my board, man. I was thinking Buffalo, you know, if they get a running game going, they're going to be unstoppable, man. They're going to be tough. They're, they're going to be super sick this year. They really are. They, that, they're I mean, Most people are picking them or the Chargers or the Chiefs. I, I got Brandon Faley's got to figure his shit out because he, he ain't getting his government name back until they start shaping up. And stop going like, for it on fourth down. This is not Madden. Quit it. No, that, exactly. <laughs> Don't go for a fourth down on your own 18 yard line. You got seven I'm yards. Fourth and two for your own 18. Hey, let's go for it. You what? And you know what? Look, yo, you're up. You're up seven nothing. You're up seven nothing on Kansas City. Take the field goal. Go up ten nothing. You don't have to go ahead and try to get another touch. It's bullshit. He's he's got to shape up, man. That man has got to shape up, or he's going to be way out of there. Yeah, he is. What was the team? It was the Steelers that got in because of that, right? Is that who? It was? Uh, all right. I'm gonna go running yeah. back here. This guy helped me win. A, this guy helped me win a league last year with a couple games, just randomly. So I'm gonna go with Ooh. him. Gainwell from Philly. I kind of like his game. Oh. Somebody's got. Yeah, especially with being banged up, that's a pretty good pick right now. Not bad. What is going and, on? Yeah, yeah, that was another guy. Oh. That was another guy. <laughs> there he is. There he is. All right, Antoine, you went with Sanders. So many games you get out of him. That's the tough part, right? There. Another guy that was, if he's healthy, he, he can he, he can be a threat. And, but the problem is he can't stay healthy. <laughs> that's usually the issue. Yeah, can't stay healthy, you can't play. But can't, dude, that's a, that's a sweet sweet pick again. Yeah, thinking about the, that's a great pick. I like yeah, it a best lot. ability is availability. Yep, yeah, you got that right. That's a good pick right there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the, reason why, the reason why I didn't take. DK Metcalf, you talk about his quarterback. I can say the same thing about this guy five, six rounds later, and then maybe the best pure route runner besides Keenan Allen in the league, Amari Cooper. Amari, okay. All right. Well, you get to play him every three weeks when he shows up. So at least That's I have, okay. him. have you seen my <laughs> roster? Have you seen it, my team? It's good. Yes. You you do have a good team. You do. Well, Amari Cooper, Cooper won't have a legitimate quarterback until week 12, and then he's got a guy who hasn't played in almost 800 days. So. Again, right. let me repeat yeah. myself. Have you seen my team? Let me repeat myself. Have you seen my team? I mean, do I have I'm to remind you? Yeah, buddy. It's like that. Oh, yeah. Once this draft is done, we're going to talk about our teams. We're going to figure out who's got the best one. That is going to be fun. Um, Penny, there he goes. There goes Penny. 
I always I think defense on my team. Let's go. But I think it might be a sleeper defense. Maybe too early, but I get a deep. Like that. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's you wouldn't have done that last year, but this year's different, no doubt. Yeah. Pretty good team. Good, good team so far. Very good. I'm impressed. Not bad. Those back to backs come in handy, Tim. Don't. Yeah, yeah it's just to figure out who's coming back to you. And you got to play in of figuring out. Well, will this other guy come back to me? And you can't really, and you have to do that a little bit too. Right. Right, because so you got to wait like 19 picks until you make another one, so you got to make them count. Yeah. It also prepares me for my other league where I'm drafting first overall, so that helps. But ah, instead of hey. going in. Look at you with the luck over here. This guy's drafting first. I'm drafting eighth all over the place. I'm born on May 8th. I don't know if that is anything. <laughs> oh, I was actually going to take Dak Press. <laughs> I got double combos, baby. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> That's funny. Not bad. Dang Not it. bad. Zach Prescott this late, that's a really good pick, too. Yeah. yeah. So Mark gets to build on his London team now. He's been rocking over there. You know, if you guys don't know, Mark is way the hell over on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. He is nowhere near the United States right now. What time doing is this? His accent never gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From New York. He said, same toss, he never heard knowing. 10 past 11. All right, seven hours. All right. well, that's eight, hours for me. eight hours for me. Terrell, you say that? That is actually didn't give it away. Who said that? I did. That was great, man. <laughs> that was good, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. Uh, we're, distract we're distracting his brain right now. Mark's got to think. He's got to make his pick. Uh, good call, man. Oh, good call, man. Oh, he is he is man. Uh, what, what is that? Yeah, I need you to address the tight end position, so I've gone with Zach Ertz. Yeah, that's a, that's a good yeah, pick, a especially with D-Hop. Great pick. Yeah. Great pick. Man knows his stuff. He knows football and football. He's got it both locked down. <laughs> Tyler yeah, Lockett. <laughs> All right, so Darren building up on his big-ass team over there. Who do we got now? Bo Ooh, Baltimore's deep. I always All like right. to take a defense once in a while. Just I have to worry about it, but we'll see. We'll see what pays off. Yeah, I'm. One, I wait on defense. I just I wait as long as I can because I just I don't know. I feel like I, never, I feel like I never know. You can pick like you know Baltimore as, as great as they are, but if they're not getting any turnovers and sacks, it really don't matter. Sometimes I'll base it on what division they're into. Like they have rookie yeah. quarterbacks and the Browns and stuff like that. So I mean, they do play the Bengals twice, but there's four games where I'm like, oh, they could get turnover there. Like I used to always pick the Patriots because I'm like, oh, nice Dolphins, Jets, perfect. Sure. Right. <laughs> I mean, we're doing a mock draft, so I don't care even saying it right now. But that's why the Colts this year, if you guys are doing your yeah. drafts, they're a really good defense. Yeah. Yeah. That was my next pick. Thank you. Just not. <laughs> Oh, no, and that's the name. Tentacles defense. Tentacles defense, y'all. Just not for the last week of the season. Oh, I'm up. Here we go. Cordero Patterson. He's a forgotten guy. I wanted to pick him, too. I mean, if he does what he did last year, then that's great. So, I, I like that. Jack of all trades. Wide receiver, running back, and play flex for you. Get y'all yes. caught the points. Well, the thing is going to be more wide receiver this year. But – I still I think, think he'll be in the back spot anyway. So, no, he'll, good. yeah. When a guy's yeah. that good, like Debo, like Tyreek, you want the ball in their hands. That's it. That That's the bottom line. That makes perfect hey, sense. He's the planet Debo right there. I, oh, I live on planet Debo. I freaking love it over here. Um, I'm going to go with a guy <laughs> that he may be the starting running back over Damian Harris at some point. It's possible. He loves right, Ramon right, J. Stevenson. Right, he, that's not bad late value right there. I like that. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got – who's got – fucking Broncos up two in a row. Still some good players out here. My gosh. Wow. You know what? You guys are right. There are a lot of good wide receivers in this league. There is. Yeah. Wow. There really are. That's something – you know, when we're doing like our real, real drafts and everything, we can wait a little bit on them receivers. We should stack up on running backs, kind of like Mark did in the beginning. That's not a bad idea. Mark, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be curious when this is all over, what receivers you got. Especially if you're doing PPR, too. Yeah. Depends, no how many depends how many teams are in your league. This, what is this, a 10-team league? 
Yeah. Right, exactly. We, I think we have I'm 19. I'm in a 14 yeah. team league, so it doesn't always weigh like that. You know what I mean? You're 100% right, bro. You are, you're 100% right. I totally agree. Uh, yo, we kept talking about Mahomes and who's going to be his next guy. At least his deep threat, I feel like, would be MVS. Yeah. So I'll go with him. Yeah. I'll take him. That is my last roster spot, except for my defense and kickers. So not giving anything that. away. Justin Watson in Kansas City. Better watch out for that guy. Yeah. yeah. Justin Watson. Yeah. For real. What about he's- Sky Moore? Do you think that he's going to line it up? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet right? I, yeah. I, I feel he's got to get better acclimated with the offense. I think they're going to have a package for him to begin with. And then as the season go- goes along, he'll, he'll, he'll be more of a piece and more of a threat. But just like right now, today, um, you know, nah, he, he, he's just more of a piece right now. I get you. I hear you. I was this uh, Mario Johnson house saying, uh, saying was a appreciate you, Patty. There he is. There he is. Love it. Yeah, definitely appreciate you guys chiming in over there. All right. Who do we got on the clock? Um, oh, BJ's on the clock. All right. Oh, time's ticking, bro. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Who they give you? Who they? Oh, they give you a good pick, Tyler Boy. That's nice. That's that nice. ain't good. That ain't nice. <laughs> I feel like that ain't good. It's it's nice for me. He tried to make it's him nice feel me. good about himself for missing the pick. It's nice <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's not mean for you, but it's hey, nice for me. You're a great host. That's why you're a great host. You tried to. You tried to make him feel all warm and cuzzy, fuddly. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a good pick. That's why you're there to break the honesty. <laughs> oh that was perfect. Oh, that was so funny, man. Well done. <laughs> that was great. It's a good pick for you because you ain't going to take it. Right. <laughs> exactly. That's why I said it's nice for me. Don't know about you, don't about you but it's nice for me. <laughs> That's why you're a good host. You're trying to make people feel better about themselves. That's right. Hey man, they gotta throw the ball to somebody. Kyle Pitts can't get every ball. I'm gonna take the rookie, Drake London. Final pick. That's yeah. a great pick. Yeah. Ooh. Final pick. I know he went out of the game. I know he went out of the game the other day, but he looks sweet. Yo, Jamal Williams, that's another great pick, too. Yeah. Damn. Late. yeah. Great All right. Well, this will be my super sleeper pick. Let's try it. See if it goes. Oh, I see. Oh, okay now. Okay. C-E-H, though. Oh, shit, man. I'm never going to live this one down. You guys are killing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry about that one. Yeah. Here. Oh, man. At least, at least I got Eli Mitchell to back me up, so I feel better about that. Now, I'm sticking him right in the starting lineup. You know it. <laughs> uh, who I just hear a little dinger go off. Who do we get now? I don't know what my computer's Oh, oh Dallas Texas, defense. Baby. Ooh. Oh, Dallas, Dallas is cool. defense? You can get the picks and Parsons can get the sacks. Oh, uh, oh uh, Micah Parsons? Yeah, but hey, he, yeah. got, he got a lot of sacks, man. That Because they lost Gregory, but I guess you never know. It's possible. Yeah. I think Diggs going to get another, what, 10, 11 interceptions? Yo, why are you taking the Colts defense, man? I was just I told you I wanted team. the Colts defense. All right, Damn, man. Jason, I told you stop giving away yeah. company secrets. You got, yeah, that's, what, that's what happened. <laughs> you you, you, you yeah, put man, it out there and he beat you off. Y'all do the Duct tape my freaking mouth, man. Darren, what's the matter with me, bro? I need a muzzle. Need That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, I guess I'm gonna go with the other sunshine here in the quarterback. I'm gonna go with Lawrence. I think with maybe I had, yep. I'm gonna go with Lawrence there. That's a big pick. Uh, last pick. Yo, he's gonna be I think he's gonna be legit this year. It ain't on Justin Fields that his that he's gonna suck because his team sucks, but yeah. with Doug Peterson coming in there, guys, Lawrence I think Lawrence. Good. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I'm with you guys. I agree. Yo, BJ, it's your turn, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see that now. I, I see that now. <laughs> Yo, I love this group, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to just do a podcast straight up, all of us together. I love it. For sure, Timmy. How your team yeah, looking? Man. You feeling good about you feeling good about your team? Well, too? the good news is I feel good about my team. The bad news is I feel good about my team. Every time I feel good about my team, they crash and burn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. I love my team and watch me win. I have a team that wins like three games all year. So, <laughs> so yeah, but I feel good about it right now. A um, couple things I've done differently, but that's a good pick. Oh, try to make it. That's definitely a good pick. 
So now I'm picking my defense, guys, and I see a lot of good ones. I just don't know which one's going to have the most, you know, fantasy points. But I'll tell you what, I love Denver. I, I love Denver. They just brought over Gregory and DJ Jones plus Sertan, Bradley Chubb. I think Denver's going to have a nice defense this year. You ain't going to go wrong, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Mile hey, high. People ain't, they won't be able to breathe up there. Their depth, though, is kind of yeah. shady. Yeah, it is suspect. Yeah, yeah. West, that's the best tough. Why would you have taken Green Bay or New Orleans ahead of them? I would. New Orleans, New Orleans. definitely. New Orleans, New Orleans yeah. definitely. Green Bay, uh, not so much. New Orleans, definitely. Okay, all right, I can dig that. That's fair. That's hey, fair. Hey, Damian, Mr. Adams isn't going to be happy with you there, Jason. You I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm going to hear this on the podcast Wednesday. You'd be like, "What? You crazy, man?" <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, but he knows how much I love Denver this year. I, I really do. I'm not calling them Super Bowl or nothing like that, but we kept saying all last year they need a quarterback, right? Well, now they got one. They should be contending at least. Who was the receiver they just lost, though? Tim, Tim Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, yeah, Tim I'm Patrick. Last place. Yo, they should go get Odell, man. Why not? I, I'm a, he may not be playing until like week six, seven, or eight, oh, but why not? Um, I'm sorry. Respectfully, the Chiefs fan, I, I, I don't want to see Odell Beckham on the Broncos, dog. No. no. You, know, you want no part of it, huh? All right. No. He's going to Dallas. He's going to Dallas. Dallas, that's another one I heard. I know. Oh, they man. can really use him. Too. Yeah, but the thing about that Dallas's offensive line has, has more holes in a block of Swiss cheese right now. So, I mean, <laughs> we, are, we already know Dak Prescott's not going to be upright for the entire season, and throwing the ball is not going to happen. That, I'm with you, Zeke? man. I, somebody took Zeke, but I think Pollard's going to get more carries when it's all said and done. Exactly. Yeah. Why do, you give, it, why getting, do you give it to Pollard, though? He, he's better at this point in his career. Okay. You know, I, I feel like Zeke spends days of a hog him, and I think Pollard is hungry, man. He wants a paycheck. Yeah. Zeke already got his money. That's true. I hate Can't that. I so know. with all of them. So. <laughs> 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 I'm a Washington fan, so I hope they do something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if I missed you when you were trying to come back in, I apologize. I know that a couple of people had just dropped out because of the stupid internet thing. But where are we at now? All right, we're last round. We still got a few picks left. BJ, I don't know if you know, but you're up. Yep, I'm, I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Alave, nice pick, man. That that can work out really good. Because yeah, yeah, right. yeah, between Somewhere Landry and Thomas, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. Me, I was saying that was somebody I was looking at too, was a lot of. Yeah, because he's going to get single coverage also, you would imagine. I don't yeah. think Garrett got drafted in this draft for the Jets, but that's understandable. Um, Jamison Williams, nope, not for a while because he ain't going to be back for a bit. Drake yeah. London got drafted. What other receivers am I missing? I think I think we're, hmm. that were what? We get Mark back in here. Mark, uh, it's probably like tomorrow where Mark is. Mark, what is it? Tomorrow? There's it's a wide like receiver a right there that's going to be a number one right there sitting there. What's still out here right now? Right now. Let me see. Let me check. He's going to be showtime. He's going to be showtime. Watch. Uh, let's see. Let's see. He's, he got. he's right there. Kadarius Tony? Yes! Hey, you like, you, right. you I was drew off the Daniel Jones is his quarterback, right? He's the ball in his hand. He's the left. Daniel Jones is his quarterback. It don't okay. matter. It don't matter. Y'all done drafted tons of players with horrible quarterbacks. This dude is a legend. <laughs> Daniel oh, Jones has more turnovers than your local bakery. Come no on. Matter. No. no. Turnovers. This is fantasy football. <laughs> Fantasy. Fantasy. I don't care how bad the team sucks. He's he ball to the team when he does his own team. You why? Well, why y'all taking Saquon <laughs> Barkley and stuff then? If they suck so bad. Oh, oh, interesting. All right, I, I, mean, all I right. didn't take Saquon. I, I mean, I agree with you, but I, mean, I didn't take Saquon. Okay. So uh, and Mister Relevant, surprised he didn't. Our host did not draft this guy for the kicker. <laughs> and go with wow, very cool. nice. undrafted. Wow, undrafted. Interesting. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, I guess wow. it's because of the Giants. But Day Bowl over there? I don't know. Maybe they can mix it up a little bit. Oh, man. All right. Yo, this was fun. Now it is time. 
<laughs> yeah, probably at best, to be honest with you. Probably at best, they're a 5 1 team. And you know what? Sorry to Giants fans out there. Sorry, Nikki, my co host, but it ain't working out. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm Nikki. Really don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want Nikki hating you. She's vicious, man. She'll come at you. Oh, I you. know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? I got to tell you. <laughs> so, all right, let's check it out. Let's teams right now we're, we're still on we're still live and and hey people are listening and i love it and uh, i'm sure we're gonna get a lot of feedback once the podcast comes on but all right i'll go down my team right now and then uh, we'll just go around around in circle Derek carr quarterback very happy my starting receivers chase allen uh chase allen listen to me jamar chase and keenan <laughs> allen <laughs> amazing um but i got also amon ross st brown to go along with it elijah moore um and marcus valdez scantling so and terry terry mclaurin as well so i kind of like that pretty decent um wide receiver core now i could have done better at running back i know all right but i got Najee harris i got uh elijah mitchell clyde edwards hilaire romadre <laughs> stevenson gee i know right <laughs> 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 With that, <laughs> but I also got Antonio Gibson and I got James Cook, which I, I like. I like later on. And again, my defense kicker, I don't care too much about, but I got the Broncos and I got what's his name from uh Vegas, um, Carlson. So overall, personally, I want to hear what you guys got to think. We're going to grade every team. I would probably say my team is like a 7.5 ish Derek Carr, Chase, Allen, Harris. Andrews, McLaurin, Elijah Mitchell, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, St. Brown, Gibson, Elijah Moore, Scantling. I, mean, I don't know. I'm being a little bit too generous over here, Darren. About what? I, I feel About like. My team. Well, you know, obviously I'm a, I'm the Raiders fan here, and nobody's a harder critic on Derek Carr than me. But I, for fantasy, uh, okay. fantasy purposes, that's a tough quarterback position. But I like your. I like your wide receivers there a little bit there, so I'm not going to hate too much on the team a little bit. Carr would be my only worry, and I'm a Raiders fan thinking they're going to go deep, but just seeing how he plays during a regular season, I'd be worried about fantasy stats consistently. But everything else I do like about your team was. Okay. All right. I dig it. That's a fair assessment right there. All right. What do you give it? Uh, one out of ten, Terrell. Uh, six. The only reason. Six. All right. Let me, let me All be right. honest. Let me be honest. The only reason. Actually, I might give it a seven. The only reason is because I look at your bench and all your running backs, none of them, you're you're hoping that they can maybe be a starter. Then you got a guy in your flex that ain't going to be, ain't really nothing really. And, and we're hoping <laughs> for the health, health of Mitchell, you know what I'm saying? And then you got Carr. Right. So like, okay. But all right. I wide receivers it. are banging. I love them in the tight end banging. Your wide receivers are loaded. Uh, I mean, even your bench wide receivers are loaded. Yeah, right. Even St. Brown. I like I mean, that. All right. So I, can, I mean, you got loaded at wide receiver. I did. I had to. I feel like you got to load up at wide receiver and running back because these guys are going to get hurt all the damn time. So that's yeah. why I figured, you know. Uh, what about you, Tim? What do you think? I'll give you about a seven on that. Again, I mean, wide receivers look great. I uh, really like Mark Andrews um, and so forth. I mean, I think you're really hoping for a lot. I think Najee was a great pick. Great. Um, great pick. It's just, I mean, it's kind of going back to that running back situation a little bit, but overall, I mean, solid job, solid job for sure. All right, all right, and yeah, I feel like that tight end does make up for things a little bit because you can have a tight end position where you're going to get three points a game if you're lucky. I feel like Andrew's going to get a hell of a lot more than that. All right, keep whipping it around. Uh, BJ, what do you think? How'd I do from a scale of one to ten? I would give you a 7.5. The Edwards Hilaire pick. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to lose. Uh, You're going to be coming at me on Twitter. You're going to be showing pictures of Hilaire. Loaded at wide receivers. I, I, I actually think Carr's going to have a better year this year than what, than what most people think because he's going to have Devontae Adams and Renfro uh, and Waller out there. And I'm pretty sure they'll have somebody else that'll come in there and uh, catch the ball for him. You got Josh Jacobs in the backfield. Office line is pretty decent, so I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty um bullish on Carr. Again, you load that wide receiver. That's the only thing is that ever Lear pick. Like yes, I said, I it's, it's a couple guys in Kansas City. It's a guy that wears number one named Jared McKinnon that's going to steal his job at some point, yep. and then on to the bench he goes. So seven point five. 
7.5. Okay, fair enough. That's about what I gave it. Abe, one on a scale of one through 10. I know the CEH pick, not the greatest, but um, I feel like I stocked up in other areas. What would you give me? Actually, I'm going to give you an eight, man. I'm going to say wow. that, that that Edwards Hilaire pick, uh, everybody's going to sleep on it. Like, oh, I, I like it. I get, I get where everybody's coming from, but that being said, anything's possible. He's not that bad of a running back. He's going to catch it out of the backfield. Obviously, like everybody else said, your wide receivers, you know, you get hands down. And as much as I freaking hate to say it, Derek Carr gonna have a year. It's gonna yes. it's it's gonna be different. And I'm a Broncos fan, you know that. Uh as much as I don't want to admit it, Derek, <laughs> Derek Carr, it's gonna be different this year. If if he can make it different, is that if that makes sense. He, he's no had doubt. he's had plenty of chances. This is his chance, man. If he can't do it with this squad, it ain't gonna happen. I think Darren's more down on Derek because he's trying to be like a pessimist optimist. <laughs> you know, praying to God that things are gonna work out. Hey, man, I hope, all about. I hope Darren's right. I hope they suck. But that being said, <laughs> <laughs> wow. that being said, I think it's man. It's a loaded AFC West. It's gonna be a fun year. Is it, I mean, yeah. with Russell back with or with the Broncos, I mean Tim Patrick going down anyway. Um, yeah, man, I, I give you an eight. All right, I appreciate that. The highest score I got so far. We got one left to go, and uh, yeah, the Broncos defense I did pick because I love, but also a tough division, so you can take it whichever way you want. All right, Mark, you have the last one on a scale of one to ten. How did I do on this one? Jason, to be honest with you, mate, I don't know if you've picked up what happened. Um, my phone came out of a message saying it had overheated and it cut out. Oh, gosh. I, I did see you cut out for a minute. So, yeah, yeah, I, did, yeah. I did see that. But I don't know so, why. Okay. So, what I've had to do, I've had to come on to StreamYard through my laptop. Um, ah. I'm, I, I, I've only just come back into the room, as it were. So, I haven't heard your team and I didn't pick my kicker. So, it's obviously done an automatic kicker for me, but all the other picks I managed to make despite the issue. So I, I haven't heard your team, mate, to be honest. Well, I don't think you have, number one, you don't got to worry about your kicker, so don't sweat that there. But I got <laughs> Carr quarterback. <laughs> I got Derek Carr quarterback, Jamar Chase and Keenan Allen are my wide receivers. Uh, Najee Harris, Elijah Mitchell, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Terry McLaurin, Mark Andrews at tight end, uh, Amon St. Brown, uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, I should say, for the Lions, uh, Antonio Gibson, Elijah Moore, James Cook, Ramadre Stevenson and Marcus Valdez Scanling, who could be, you know, one of those deep threats for uh, Patrick Mahomes and have that Tyree Kill is gone. So the consensus I've been getting is an average about a seven. Your receivers are stacked, and you've obviously got one of the top two tight ends. Um, I would worry a little bit about the running back position. I mean, Najee's yeah. a stud. Um, if it was best ball, you'd be laughing. Because obviously you get the median, you get the median pick. So really, what it's going to come down to is your selection in the season, and obviously making the right pick at running back against the matchups if they are getting the looks. So, I mean, from a receiving standpoint, it's PPR. Um, I'd give you a seven and a half, Jason. All right, all right. I'm getting seven and a half. So I'm getting you got seven. Lucky I got going it. first, Jason. You got lucky going first. I did. <laughs> Now right. the harshness is going to come out. <laughs> no, he, I mean, if he's getting seven and a half, we all of us should be like, oh, we get like eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to find out now because we're going to go through every team. Let's go through Darren's team. Fade, oh, fat boy fades, baby. So great okay. quarterback, Justin Herbert, Devontae Adams, awesome. T. Higgins, great. Going to get a lot of single coverage. You got Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, who I don't know if Josh McNamara is trying to trade him, but still a great player. And his teammate, Darren Waller, with DK Metcalf, Jerry Judy, Robert Woods, Kareem Hunt, Alan Lazard, great late pick, uh, along with Kenneth Gainwell, McKenzie, and Trevor Lawrence. So I think you got a pretty darn good starting team over there. The one that I would worry about maybe, Darren, out of yeah. all, is Josh Jacobs a little bit because I think they're going to throw the ball a little bit more. And Jerry Judy, I don't know how many points he's going to put up, but Herbert's going to put up a lot. Adam's going to put up a lot. You expect Henry to do his thing. Waller, overall, I would probably give you a team. I would give you a team about a – I'll give you a team a seven. I would go with a seven. 
for that one. So, Darren, so definitely a pretty good team right there, no doubt. I'm not upset with it. What about you, Terrell? What would you give his team? Well, he's got my MVP as his quarterback, so that's definitely a plus. He's got <laughs> the, the equivalent to CEH and Josh Jacobs on the scene, so that's another one. <laughs> oh, man. You, it's not even my Ooh. turn. You got to take shots. He's got DK Metcalf, who I'm not high on at all, but he does have Lazard, who I am. I'm not sold yeah, on Gainwell yeah. or McKenzie, really. Well, getting a piece of Buffalo's offense is a good thing, so that's probably a good steal getting that late. That's probably a plus for you, too, also. I love the wide receivers. Love them. I love having Woods and and Kareem Hunt on the bench. I'll give you a seven and a half. I'm going to give you a yeah, seven, All right. seven and a half. I'll take that. I'll take that. He's definitely better, better than Chase Jay. It's <laughs> 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 better than my garbage. Yeah, you got one of the best <laughs> quarterbacks out there. Got to put the line on this. <laughs> Jeez. So can we oh, go back great. in here and all look right. at all the teams again? It just went off. Yeah, but we'll be yeah. able to pick it up. If we sign back in, we'll be able to, to pick it up because all our teams now are going to be on our roster. Oh, bet. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the roster right now on the main page. So. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Sorry there. Jason, like you should love my team, though, because you got the quarterback, so I got all the weapons. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got some serious weapons, man. You are not joking around. Damn. Wow. Uh, so what do you think, Tim? What do you think of his uh, of his draft? I'm leaning towards an eight. It was 7.5 or an eight because I do, I do think his starting group, I think a lot of them are safe picks. Um, I don't mind the DK Metcalf pick. I know that people are going to say of what we've been saying is Drew Locke is – Throwing him the ball, which is a problem, but I still think he'll he'll be a part of that offense in some way, some manner. I love the uh, Adams and Higgins wide receiver tandem. Um, the running backs, I would say that both Henry and Jacobs could be relatively high risk, high reward. Um, I do think Jacobs will kind of have a rebound, and I do kind of wonder about Henry's foot moving forward, but overall, I think a lot of the picks are very solid and safe. So I, I, I like his team. I'll say it's a name. All right. Not bad. Not, not bad right there. Robert Woods and, you know, again, uh, Alan Lazard, you know, later picks. I think that's a really good job by Darren over there. No doubt. BJ, what do you give him on a scale of 1 to 10? I give him an 8. Uh, it's just it's just <laughs> solid order across the board offensively. Um, a lot of weapons, a lot of diversity. Uh, could rack up a lot of points. I mean, you, you could catch a guy on, on a wrong week and just blow him out of the water at this point. So, give him eight. Mm. Eight. That's that's a hell of a score right there, Darren. So far, they're looking pretty good over there. You got one of the best running backs in the league, obviously. Yep. So far, so good. And even those late picks, even Kareem Hunt. Who knows what will happen? Yeah. How much he will play? And if he does play, he could be a stud. So that's not bad. I like that. Abe, hey, what do you give him? I'm gonna go seven and a half. I'm just looking at Judy. I, I'm not high on him yet. Um, he he hasn't caught the ball very well the past couple of seasons. Granted, he hasn't had a quarterback to throw it to him either. So there's that. Um, I mean, Metcalf can have a a breakout season. I don't know if Geno Smith and Drew Locke's gonna get it done, but uh, other than that, he's got a good roster. I just not too sure about his two starters. And, uh, you know, Josh Jacobs is a coin flip, but I'll give him a seven and a half. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. And again, he could be starting somebody else at running back uh, during yeah. the time. If it's, you, might, you, you never know. And then that waiver wire, guys are going to be getting hurt the first three weeks, but overall, definitely a solid squad. Well, so I, th- I agree. I think like, if, I had, if I had to make just one more comment, I think Lazard's going to take Judy's place in the end. Ooh. I would agree. I agree. I actually agree with him. I think that Judy. What were you going to say, Terrell? I said that could happen, yeah. 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 I, I think like that could Judy happen. I he... like Judy this year, though. Yeah, I do too. But my only concern is, uh, you know, he if they're not double teaming Sutton, they got KJ Hamler back off the well, puck. Why are they double teaming Sutton? Isn't Judy the alpha? Uh, no. He's, Sutton was he's... the alpha because Judy was hurt, right? Right. But <laughs> Judy has a. Well, Judy hasn't proven himself either. So, I mean, yeah, dropped a lot of balls show. last year, man. So, that's the thing. He's got to show up. That's, K- that's for sure. KJ Hamler's the speed, and he's off the putt now. So, yeah. 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 Denver has, look, they have a, a very good overall team. I don't know if the most fantasy stud team in the world, but they definitely have a hell of a team. Yeah, no doubt. So, we'll see. Yeah. 
Mark, you give him the last grade over here. So far, he's been getting 7.5s and 8s all over the place. What do you give Darren's team? Well, I concur that I think Justin Herbert's going to be the MVP this year um, in the NFL. So I think that's a very good quarterback. <laughs> um, the receivers, there's depth there. And even, like, even like deep, you know, Lazard, great pick. And I do think he's going to, going to emerge this year with Rodgers. They've shown connection in the past. And now of how Devontae's gone to Las Vegas, I think he's going to get a lot more looks and he's going to deliver. I think he's underrated. The concern I'd have about this team is that if the injuries do strike at the running back position, it's obviously a nutritional position and injuries do stack up. Um, I don't think there's much depth there. And I'm also concerned about Josh Jacobs not having his sort of fifth year option picked up. So what do they really think about him? What's going on there? I mean, I don't know. I'm not obviously in the locker room. I'm not in the, the GM's office, but, uh, you know, you might even see someone like Zamir White um, emerge there in the backfield. Yeah. So the, the running backs do concern me because if he does get an injury there or two, which can happen because it's that type of position, um, then even scouring the, the waiver wide, there could be some problems. But there's no two ways about it in all the other positions. Very good selections, very deep, you know, very, very solid. So because of the running back, lack of depth, even with Henry there as a stud, we know he got injured last year. I'm actually going to go seven. Going to seven. All right. That would be actually the lowest. We got seven, 7.5. We got eights. We got a lot of good scores. So, Darren, overall, you definitely made a really good selection over there. You had a good draft, and especially that Alan was hard pick. I love it. I appreciate it's it. It's a good Thanks. team. Uh, Jason, did you notice instead of Fat Boy Fade, it was Fat Boy Fades, you know, goal line fades. I just wanted you to pick up on Ah, <laughs> look at you. Clever. Clever. Well done, sir. Well done. I like it. I like it. Darren, overall, yeah, you happy with your team? You like, you I like am. the way the draft work? I am. You know, the, usually the thing I do is with fantasy football. I'm going to be honest with you. I like, obviously, I watch all the games. I follow. I'm, I always feel like my best strategy is like to go a little bit against my instincts. <laughs> so I went with. <laughs> was, so I called. I called you out on Derek Carr. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take three Raiders. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I've won leagues that way. That's how we do it. <laughs> there it is. Hey, whatever it takes. Uh, well done. Well done. All right. That's two. We're going to go to uh, – all right. Number three team. I'm going, again, to my left over here. We have our – the realism. We got Terrell's team over here. And it's he made an interesting it's, selection. It's, it's, let me – let me. it's realism. Everybody always says realism. Yeah, a realism. I'm Terrell. Realism. Terrell. Realism. 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 Yeah, real, real. Yeah, there you go. There ain't, there ain't no A. There ain't no A in there. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I guess people think they didn't know how to spell it or something like that. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, go ahead. Anyway. Terrellism knows how to spell. Terrellism knows how to spell. It's all good. So interesting quarterback selection, but I do like it because of the rushing yards with Jalen Hurts. You got Cooper Cup, one of the best wide receivers at least. C.D. Lamb. Great combo right there. That's awesome. Along with Aaron Jones, going with the rookie, Brees Hall for the Jets, who I agree with you. He will be the starter at some point. Dallas Goddard, a tight end. J.K. Dobbins, awesome pick. That was very late. Great pick. you got Hopkins to come around later on in the season. Another rookie running back, Damian Pierce for Houston. Chris Godwin, another incredible value. Um, you got Brian Robinson Jr. from Washington, running back who you think is going to step in for Gibson. Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott, and Drake London. Even though you drafted a backup running back, I'm going to say your team is pretty damn good. I'm going to give you like an, I'm going to give you like an 8.5, man. I think that's a really good team you got right there. I like that. I like that Terrell ism, and I like that right there. That's that's a good ism. That's well done. We're going to get your thoughts about it after. But Darren, how do you think his team turned out? Yeah, I think he's got a pretty good team. I, I I'm going to give him. I think I'm going to go seven and a half here. I'm only because I'm unsure about the the Hall pick at running back. But I like the Dobbins pick, getting it late. I wanted him right before he picked him, so I wanted him that value late. And I his hmm. team, his team would be the type of team I would not want to play if like we got to like the last three weeks of the season and he's starting to like get better and like because I that's where I see his team with Godwin coming on late and Hopkins coming on late. Not saying it's he could, yeah, not saying he couldn't get off to a hot start. But I, I I just look at his team and I'm like, if he can keep it within striking distance. With the end, he's took some good guys that might come on late that would like be massive value pickups towards the end. So 
I'm going to go seven and a half, but with big upside towards the second half of the season. Perfect. There definitely is big upside. I feel like maybe you could have got a better quarterback than Jalen Hurts, but I okay, still like him a lot. Three last year? What was he, three, four last year? Who? He sucked. <laughs> He's, <laughs> he was like third or fourth in fantasy last year or something. Yeah, he was, he, 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 he was kind of mid, but yeah. But he was top, at least top <laughs> six, and he sucked. And now he's got his, his boy with him. Anyway, go ahead. Whole different story. <laughs> we, we know he's loving his team. He's loving his team right now. All right, all right. That press got right. on, on the bench. I know on the bench. Uh, you got some trade bait later on for one of these quarterbacks are going to go down. All right, what do you think, Tim? How did he do on a scale of one to ten? I think it's a similar situation. Um, I'm going to give him seven point five. That wide receiver uh, tandem that he has is just Tough. sick. Yeah, God, yeah. when you know if he's when he comes back healthy, he's going to be a monster. You look at Cooper Cup and C.D. Lamb; those are just prime wide receivers. Uh, Hopkins when he gets off his suspension. I mean, th- that, and then you have Amari Cooper like as his fifth best guy in the uh, mm-hmm. on wide receiver. So that that right there is just scary alone at the wide receiver spot. Um, just kind of echoing the sentiment, um, but with Jalen Hurts a little bit. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know people probably you know saw me on Twitter and on my blog. I just. I don't trust Hurts. I love him, but I don't trust him. Uh, but he also has Dak Prescott as quarter, you know, behind it in case anything happens to Hurts. And I think, you know, it's a solid, solid play there. So he really plotted out well. Aaron Jones, I think, is going to have a good year. Um, still wondering about Aaron uh, Brees Hall as well. But overall, I mean, it's, you know, it's a solid. And, you know, that second half of the year, he can turn it, his team can really turn it on if uh, all goes well. Yeah, I'm with you. That yeah, T, one of your teams, your team could be that team later on in the year. It's like, wow, really don't want to mess with this guy. You made a lot of good late draft picks. I like it. BJ, your faces are just impeccable. I love them. You make the greatest faces on the planet. Give me something to go along with it, baby. Um, for now, I'm gonna go to 7.5. Now it could be upgraded to 8.5, depending on how this team performs. Like like you just said, he drafted a team that early on. I don't think it's really going to be out there and it's going to really perform well or it would like to perform well. But it's also a team that late in the season that you're not going to want to face because of who they have on there. J.K. Dobbins is going to be a weapon late in the season. Uh, yes. I think Hurts will come on eventually because, I mean, he has the weapons. He has to work with the weapons around him now to succeed. If he doesn't succeed now, no. when are you going to do it? Got, mm-hmm. the, the light bulb has got to come on. Right. Um, Aaron Jones, again, that's another solid pick. The Godwin pick, like I said, although he's coming back, that's an ACL injury. So wide receiver is very tough to come back from. So we'll so we'll see how it goes for him. Um, I think Drake London is going to have an outstanding season this year in Atlanta. I think he'll take some Me of the too. first up for Kyle Pitts by going outside, intermediate routes, and going deep and going deep every now and then. So right, like, right now today, 7.5 could be upgraded to 8.5, depending on how the team performs. You're getting some love right now. You're getting some realism <laughs> love right now. <laughs> it's pretty good, Terrell. It's pretty good, man. All right, Abe, what do you give him once then? Uh, shoot, I'll go 7.5 only because it hurts. And I don't know, man, running backs are really young besides Jones. I mean, it's wide receivers – I, he he should get more love than you on those wide receiver picks, man, because you got a lot Probably. of love on your picks. <laughs> but, um, man, I don't know. To me, Hurts, man, it's it's 50-50. I mean. <laughs> Everybody played last year, right? Everybody played fantasy football last year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was a top six quarterback in fantasy. Everybody knows yes. that, right? Yeah, because of his running ability, absolutely. Yeah, and that he counts. Digress? Is he going to digress now? Because Dallas's know. defense didn't get no better, Washington's defense didn't get no better, and the Giants. <laughs> I mean, hey man, you, so they all, they, you they, all, they, they all three actually got worse, but thank you. You, know, you got a viable point. And the offensive man. line for so, the Eagles got better. Well, shit, he just he, he just taught me into an eight, then man. Because <laughs> I hate the Eagles. I'm a Washington fan. I hate the Eagles. Right. No, I hear you, man. Just like the Raiders. He's making but... his case. 
But the hey, man, team. I mean, he, yeah, he's got, he's solid all the way through. <laughs> One thing about Hurts that I, and this is more of a football thing, maybe not a fantasy football thing, is that because I'm a big Alabama fan and watching him at Alabama, in those rare times that they were losing in games with Hurts at quarterback, he just looked kind of lost at times playing. And even in that game against uh, Tampa Bay last year in the playoff, he just looked like he was a fish out of water. And if the Eagles get down at times, I'm going to be curious to see, can he be the one making those key passes? And if he can, you know, pass with confidence, that's the only thing. That's one of the biggest things I have concerns about with Jalen Hurts. Can I read so, on that real quick? Yeah. All right. So when you're talking about when he's in Alabama, he was what, 19? Right. And then, and then last, year in the playoffs, <laughs> last year in the playoffs, their team wasn't built to, to throw the ball, and they just happened to play the number one rush defense in the playoffs. Yeah, but see, right. here's the thing, though. Here's the thing: saying. they played that same, they played that same rush defense in the regular season on a Thursday night, and they hung in for about three and a half quarters until Tampa Bay pulled away. Then they got in the playoffs, and like you said, he looked like a deer in headlights the entire game. They threw some, they, they threw basic defenses at him, and he failed. They threw basic <laughs> cover two coverages at him, and he was like, "What is this?" And he's looking at the <laughs> sideline like, "What am I doing here?" Well, they're throwing a basic cover two at you at that point in time in the playoffs. If you can't read that, that's a problem. So in the playoffs, our fantasy season's over, and that's when I win championship rings. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about real life. This is fantasy football. He's still a top six quarterback. Respect, he respect. Like I said, he sucked last year. You don't think he got better than that previous year with AJ Brown? Okay, go well, let me give you a, let me give you a little good news over here because Amanda is agreeing with you. She said last year I received more points with Jalen Hurts than with Dak, so she's giving you uh, eight point five on that yeah, one, Terrell. And, that, and that's smart. And that's, <laughs> and that's very smart. Is that more of an indictment on Dak Prescott, though? But um, we'll we'll leave that alone. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Mark, you got the last say. What do you got uh, from one to ten so far? It looks like uh, Terrell's got uh, the best. Uh, uh, team out of the three of us so far, at least by uh, the, the, the scale of one to ten. So, there's what do you think? Better than, I, I think there's a better team. We'll get to that. Go ahead. Well, to, to add to the Jalen yeah. Hurts situation, I mean, you've got to differentiate between getting points in fantasy and then what is real football. And I only did one redraft last year because I pivoted to Dynasty Fantasy and I actually won the championship. And I had Jalen Hurts as my quarterback and Matthew Stafford on the bench. And he got an awful lot of points in fantasy because of the rushing upside. And I think his situation has improved by getting AG, AJ Brown and also that he's going to be a little bit more experienced and he's had a little bit more time in training camp, etc. So I think as a fantasy quarterback, I think he's a very good pick <laughs> because when you're looking at fantasy, you want to look at how you can score points and you want to score on a number of levels. So it's like with running backs, say, for example, with Derek Henry, he's very good at obviously rushing, but he doesn't offer much outside of the backfield, obviously with passing. And receptions, so um, I think Jalen Hurts is a good selection. I'm going to uh, rate eight with a possible upside to eight and a half because what I do, I don't mean to repeat what everyone said, but I totally agree. This is a, a team that could get very hot later on in the season. Um, you know, with DeAndre sure. Hopkins coming back from suspension, some of those rookie picks that are on the bench as they find their way into the schemes, into the systems, get experienced. There's definitely some great picks there that could emerge on top of some very good solid picks that are actually in the starting roster. So I actually do like this this team. I give it eight currently, but it can really emerge to an eight and a half because I think there's a lot of potential and a lot of scope. Okay. The potential is there, just like with my man Terrell uh, with uh, Trey Lance. The potential's there. That's why good things are going to happen. That's a whole other story. Beautiful things are going to happen, no doubt. All right, so you got to be pretty happy with what you heard over there, man. You got a pretty damn good team going on. I like it. Thank you, fellas. Yeah, you should. You should like it, man. Well done. Well done. Well done. I might actually have to keep this league. You know, maybe we should keep it and see what happens toward the end of the year and see how CEH busts all you up at the end of it. But, you know, I digress. All right. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, no. It's possible. It's possible. All right. I, I was trying it's to chat with Brian West. Fireball too, but, you know, it ain't happened yet, so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
Woo. Okay, let's go to our next team. Keep going around over here. Tim, I think we got your team. You're the Yobo Goyas. Is that how you pronounce it? Yobo Goyas. Yobo Goyas. The league. The league. Baby, I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Love that. Love that show. I miss it. But <laughs> I still watch it over and over again. Yeah, same here. And, you know, I always say it's a clever name if my team plays. Poorly, I can say they play like a bunch that they are taking a Yoba Goya. So, you know, that works. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see how the Yoba Goya is. Did he got Joe Burrow? All right, Debo Samuel, Juju Smith, there is the second wide receiver, Jonathan Taylor, and Nick Chubb at running back. Solid, excellent right there. Kyle Pitts, the tight end, solid. Montgomery could be solid, depends on that offense's run. Luke Getze is coming in, former um, Green Bay Packers quarterback coach with uh, Aaron Rodgers. So I don't know if he was learning or he was being taught or whatever was going on over there. So, you know, we'll see. But again, we got Rashard Penny, Marquise Brown, Aaron Rodgers, speaking to him on the team, Adam Thielen, Damian Harris. This is a pretty good team, actually. You got a couple of defenses where you can pick from, whether it's going to be the Chargers or the Cowboys. It'll probably be more Chargers right there. But I like your team a lot. I'm not thrilled with Juju Smith-Schuster, I think that Adam Thielen will probably stick in there more for you, maybe even Marquise Brown. But overall, I would definitely say you got a pretty good starting lineup. I may be a little bit worried about the bench guys and Aaron Rodgers. I don't know how great he's going to do. But overall, Tim, I would have to say I'd give you Tim an eight, uh, your team an eight. I would have to give you an eight. So, Darren, what would you give him based off all that? I'm kind of – when I first looked at the team, I'm like, wow, Taylor and Chubb right away, that kind of caught my attention – and that running back yeah. combination. So right away there, I'm like, oh, crap. Hopefully they don't get three touchdowns a day. <laughs> so that would be the one thing <laughs> that, would, that would fear me with them right away. Um, yeah, I like his team. I, I To piggyback off what you said, uh, Juju Smith would be my concern. Montgomery would be my concern. But the rest of the spots I really like, and I actually like the idea of having Rodgers there too to go with Burrow. Um, I mean – if Burrow's not having, if he's a little off this year, you got Rogers. If Rogers a little off, you got Burrow. So I don't hate that either. So I, hate that either. So I like seven and a half, eight. I'm kind of right there with you on those. All right, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, uh, Tim, you definitely drafted a good team. Like I said, maybe Juju Smith Schuster would be replaced by Adam Thielen or something like that. But also have a great backup uh, quarterback. It was high risk. I was saying it's kind of a high risk, high reward. That's how I kind of look at it at this point. Sure. But, but yeah, I get why. And even sometimes I'm going, was that a good idea type mentality? So, yeah. <laughs> now you still got a good team around it. You still got a good team around it. I want to see what Terrell's got to say. He's been good at dissecting these teams, and he'll tell you the truth, what's on his mind. So go for it, man. Tell him what you think. No, I, I think it's definitely a solid team. I mean, he got – I mean, the running backs. I mean, you – that's as big of a stud stable as you Ooh. can have. Um, oh, yeah. I just think that Debo's going to take a step back. I think Brandon Ayuk is definitely a step forward this year. Juju, I'm not ever sold on him, but I do think that Marquise Brown's going to take his spot at least for the first six games. I think he's got multiple opportunities to explode for those six games. Kyle Pitts, I think he might be the number one tight end behind Andrews. Not sold on Montgomery. That offensive line looks horrible. Justin Fields will be running everywhere. Thielen, I'm worried about Thielen, especially with the injuries and everything. And I think the emergence of Irv Smith Jr., the tight end that people forget about, is going to catch a lot of those balls. And Justin Jefferson is going to be the number one receiver in fantasy, I think, even though I took Cooper. Yeah. Even though <laughs> Cooper Cup. Damian Harris, I think he's going to lose his job. Sharp Penny, I think he's going to lose his job. Two defenses on the team, I never liked that. Um, I'll give you a seven, though, because, it's I mean, you got this stable of them running backs – you always gonna win a game. Yeah, between the running backs and the tight end, yeah, not yeah, not, not tight bad. End. I mean, I'm definitely giving you a seven just for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still pretty good, no question about it. I like it. All right, what do you say, uh, BJ? What do you think? I'm gonna give him an eight. The, okay. the running back stable is really solid. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that Debo's taking a step back this year. I think that because he got his contract and because of the game planning that Shanahan's gonna put forth for this year. He's not going to be a running back that much. He's a, he's a receiver. He's a beast at receiver. We're who's going to see that more this year. What's that? Well, who's going to throw it to him? Trey Lance. You trust his accuracy more than Garoppolo's? 
Oh, come on. Don't even start this right now. Yes. The answer is yes. BJ, you don't have to answer come up every day? Heck yeah, I trust it more than Garoppolo's. Give me Garoppolo's out. Done. Over. Forget it. It's over. Trey Lance <laughs> is way more Four accurate than Garoppolo. He's on the sideline. He'll be going, one going to Cleveland or the Jets. He's out. Don't anybody worry about him. He's gone. Um, Jonathan Taylor's a beast. Chubb's a beast. Isaiah Pacheco. Underrated pick. Mm. Under. But I watched that boy underrated pick. I think Juju's going. <laughs> I, I, I think Juju's going to do better here because he has, has a real quarterback throwing him the football. He doesn't have some water pistol quarterback named Ben Roethlisberger short arming and passes and under throwing and going. Oh, you didn't catch the football. No, he's got a real quarterback this time. Um, <laughs> solid team overall. Marquise Brown's going to step in um, yeah, uh, for um, in here in Arizona. So yeah, I give it eight. Really, really solid team. All right. Yeah, yeah, I, I gave him an eight also, man. I'm with you 100%. Looks like you're doing a pretty uh, damn good job there, uh, Tim, so far. I like your team a lot. We all do. Um, let's see. Uh, Abe, what do you think about his team? We're going 7.5s. We're going eight. So you going lower, higher, the same? I'm, I'm going to go eight, man, at least. Uh, I I agree with uh, – I'm sorry. I don't remember the last guy's name. Oh, BJ, BJ. BJ, sorry. I apologize. Um, I think Juju Smith-Schuster is going to have a better year than people suspect because uh, he's like he said, piggybacking off of him, he's going to have a way better freaking quarterback throwing to him. Only thing I don't <laughs> like, I would give him an eight and a half. Um, it's his backup running backs. I mean, if anything happens to his main his main guys, he's he screwed. I mean, Rashard Penny, come on, let's get real. I I live up in the Pacific <laughs> Northwest and. Um, if the Broncos aren't playing at the same time, I watch the Hawks games and that dude don't play. But that mm. being said, Chris Carson's gone now. So, but right. Penny, Penny has had injury issues the past two seasons. I don't know a darn thing about the Pacheco dude. So I can't say if Terrell's right or not, but I mean, if it wasn't for his backup running backs, I'd give him an eight and a half at least. But yeah, yeah, good, yeah. good team, man. Yeah, I think another one, Damian, Damian Harris, I like a lot, but you never know what Bill Belichick's going to do week to week. But I definitely yeah. think he right. got studs, you know, all the place. You know that that's the thing that you know will freak me out about drafting guys like him. Even though I took Ramadre Stevenson, if anything does happen to Damian Harris, but yeah, let's close it out, Mark, um, with um, with uh, Terrell's team. I'm sorry, with Tim's team over here. And what do you think on a scale of one to ten? What stands out to you? There's definitely no issues there whatsoever at quarterback. And you've got great options throughout the season looking at the matchups. The starting two running backs are absolute studs. And even more so with Chubb because of what's going on with Deshaun Watson. And it looks likely that Jacoby Brissett's going to start. They're going to lean on the running game a lot more. So yeah. absolutely ace that with those picks. What I'm worried about is only four receivers have been picked and would question why two defences have been selected, particularly as the wide receiver position is very, very deep. And we've only had selecting four receivers and there potentially are four slots per week when you've got two flex. There is a lot of flexibility mm. with the re receiver position. So I would just question in this initial draft picking two defences when you can obviously stream it through the season when the team comes to the bye. Um, but yeah, look, the, the beauty of this is when we have so few amount of coaches, if you know what I'm saying, as opposed to, say, a 12-team league, is that a lot of the teams can look very, very good because... The, the turnaround in the rounds is very quick. Um, but look, I would go seven to seven and a half. The reason why I go seven and a half is what goes on with the backup running back position. New England are notorious for running by committee. So Damien Harris should be the number one, but Willie is who's got the hot hand there in New England. I agree with Rashad Penny that he just can't stay fit, even though he did have that sort of breakout towards the end of last season, which is why I went with. Uh, Kenneth Walker, because I think come the end of, towards the end of the season, he's going to be the hot end of the number one back. Um, Isaiah Pacheco, yeah, he's a real buzz, isn't he, at the moment, you know, being a sleeper pick, etc. And I think it is open there, because um, I do question Clyde Edwards Hilaire a little bit there in the backfield. I think it's fair <laughs> to someone to, to stake a claim. They're certainly trying to phase him in um, into the passing game, which when it's PPR, you know, I always look at the ways that you can score extra points. Because if you can obviously score in various ways, then that adds up. So that could be a sexy, sexy pick. But uh, yeah, quarterbacks, running backs, great, certainly from the starting position. Worry about only four receivers and that there isn't the flexibility there for the flex position. 
And really, I would have gone with another receiver as opposed to picking an extra defense. No doubt. No doubt. All right. Yeah, Tim, most people like in your team for the most part. So you should feel pretty good about that. You did very well drafting and you probably have the best quarterback in the NFL as well. And he does have weapons. I know Tyreek Hill is not there anymore. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about another team. I apologize. (laughs) That's me. That's me. Thank you. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, right. You do have PG. I'm going to get to your team in a second, which I was looking at for two seconds. But no, Tim, everybody's high on your team. So I, I would be pretty damn happy if I were you. I would be pretty damn happy. But I know BJ is happy because he does have the best quarterback in the league in my eyes, at least with Patrick Mahomes. A.J. Brown going over to another spot, but give him a couple of weeks. I think I'll get it together. Allen Robinson, same thing, new team, but all the attention on Cup. Robinson is a fantastic wide receiver. And just because Justin Fields didn't have a rapport with him doesn't mean that Stafford won't. Kamara, if he's playing and he's healthy, that doesn't get much better in the backfield. Travis Etienne, yeah, you're taking a shot on him, but you know what? Another young running back who can play football. He missed all of last year. He's going to come back hungry. You have probably the best tight end in the league, Travis Kelsey. Gabriel Davis scored four touchdowns in that playoff game last year. A.J. Dillon, Christian Kirk, we've got Matthew Stafford, like I talked about, to back up. Cordero Patterson, who could be a starter every week. Tyler Boyd, Chris Olave. Uh, Raheem Moster, who I love, I don't know how much he's going to play, but still love him. If Chase Edmond goes down, he's your guy. Dude, BJ, I'm giving you team an 8.5. Best team I've seen so far. Wow. <laughs> Best team I've seen so far. i got to admit it. And I've, I've liked Darren teams a lot. I like Terrell teams a lot. But BJ, I, I think you rocked out, man. I want to hear what the other guys got to say. Darren, what do you think? Um. Well, you know, I- I, I I like it too. I think it's a good team. I was looking at it too from a depth. I like the idea of Mahomes and Kelsey together, especially. That's yes. kind of that's kind of a killer right there. Uh, the one that kind of <laughs> makes me want to go to makes me think eight point five. It doesn't make I, to me. I got to go at eight. Is Kamara? I, like I just don't know with him. Like you know what I mean? Like I feel like him and Brown could take his team to another level. And then if they can kind of get back to the superstar level. And then like you mentioned, the guys like I, when I see Davis. And I see um, the running back from Jacksonville. Those are the guys where, you know, does your team become really unstoppable? Guys that we're not expecting to go to another level. So I like, I do like this team. I'm going to go eight, though, with it. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. And again, Patterson could be a guy who can be starting in a flex position or something like that, depending on how they use him this year. So I, I'm, I'm definitely liking it. Maybe I'm a little too hyped about the team, but I, these guys are standing out to me big time. So I don't know, Terrell, what do you think? You shook your head a little bit. Like, yo, what's this dude thinking over here? So talk to me. I think he has a super solid team. I think you are overvaluing it because you're in love with Patrick Mahomes, obviously. (laughs) 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 But I love the team. A.J. Brown, Allen Robinson, Kamara and ETN, I think are huge. Kelsey, the combo, that's gigantic. Gabriel Davis, I think it's going to be good. Dylan, I think he's going to have a significant role. The bench is my issue. I don't think Christian Kirk's going to live up to the hype of the money. Tyler Boyd, I don't think there's mm. enough balls to go for him. Mostert, I don't think he's going to get on the field enough. Alave, I think he's going to be a good pickup, but maybe not until about week six, seven. Um, and Stafford, I just don't know what he's going to bring as far as value goes for fantasy. But um, Maybe a trade. Yeah, I definitely, lo- I definitely love the star power of the team, though. Um, yeah. I'll give him an eight. Yeah, yeah, so far, so good, BJ, no doubt. Yeah, the team is, is nice. Again, the star power is what stands out. Again, we could t- I'm going to go to Timmy in a second over here. We can talk about the bench a little bit. Yeah, Tyler Boyd may not get all in, you know, all the looks and everything. Christian Kirk, I think he may do a little bit better than other people think. I mean, he's going to have to show up and show out. He got paid a lot of money, and he is a good player, but is him and Lawrence going to have a rapport? I don't know. Tim, what do you think about his team? I got to go 8 to 8.5. Um, I really like his – uh, team as a whole, even even on his bench, I know uh, Terrell made a comment saying he was a little apprehensive on the bench for like you know some, put one of those guys in on a buy for one of his other guys. You know it couldn't really be that much of a drop off. Um, uh, but but I do think you know you have the best quarterback in the league, obviously. Um, A.J. Brown, Allen Robinson, solid tandem. Yes. Kamara can get you both the running and the passing, uh, running and passing uh, uh, points and everything, which is great. Um, ETN, 
I like it. I have probably the one question I have, but he'll be fully ready. So I, I don't think of it as a big question, a relative question, but not too big of a question. And he's going to be the guy in Jacksonville. So I really don't have an issue that tandem with Kelsey and Mahomes, though. <laughs> I Anybody ha- who has those two guys weekly is going to be a problem. I think Gabriel Davis is going to be a good one. Uh, A.J. Dillon will get a chunk as well. I actually like this team, so it's about an 8 to 8.5. Um, so, so I think he did a good job. I really do, do think he did a really good job. Yeah, no doubt. We're all agreeing over you. BJ's just sitting back. He's like, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know I got the team. <laughs> I try. I try. Well, I'll tell you, that A.J. Dillon pick is a real nice one because you know who's getting the ball at the goal line. So that that's a sneaky yeah. one right there. He's going to get points every game. I like that. Uh, we'll go to Abe and then we'll go to Mark. Abe, what do you got for his team? Everybody's going gaga with eights over here. What do you think? Yeah, man, I got eight and a half. Um, uh-huh. I, there's really nothing that you can say that anybody else, else hasn't said. Um, I'm not going to lie. The Jacksonville running back, I don't know a lot about because I don't pay attention to Jacksonville. So I'm assuming that he's good because BJ's picked a solid freaking team. So, I mean, I can't – everybody's had decent things to say about the guy. BJ's not going to make a bad pick, obviously. But I I think it was Terrell that said about Boyd, you know, that that could come in just as a a guy that's – on a filling in for a bye week, I think Kirk will be all right. But yeah, me too. I mean, dude, there's there's not a and I'm everybody's already said about the Mahomes and Kelsey thing. There ain't a damn bad thing you can say about his team, man. Eight and a half. No, no you can't say much I mean, bad about can't. it. I, I, I I'd like to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where, hey, where we screwed up when he picked Mahomes, I don't know if he picked Kelsey or Mahomes first, but whoever, if he picked Mahomes first, somebody should have picked up Kelsey. <laughs> I, picked up, I, I picked up Mahomes first, and I sat back and looked and was like, yeah. Y'all up 87 on the board? Hey, cool. That's, right. Come on. that's, that's, where, we, that's where we screwed up. <laughs> I just said, I look like you're 87 out there. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You got to come on with me now. Yep. And that's yeah. another rule to look out for. Look at what your opponent has in front of you and behind yes. you. And that that's what you, you always do your first I mean, away, your first three rounds. Hey, you watch it, do a face football, your first three rounds. Watch what everybody else does. If you see a party that you want and it's out there, take them. Because if you don't, yeah. they will. But hey, you're that right. being said, you're you, I will not disagree with you one hundred percent. But that being said, you can't you can't you can give and you, all the wide receivers in Kansas City, somebody got to take that damn tight end. Yes, they do. <laughs> but hey, man. Hey, and you can't double them because everybody else would get off on you. That's right. Hey, but <laughs> hey, Tyree Kill being gone, that will. But I, hey, you damn good picks, man. Damn yeah, thank team. you. Yeah. Mark, uh, give it your last one in about like uh, 30 to 45 seconds. What do you think about his team? Scale of one to 10, what do you like? The core of it's very, very strong. Um, I'll give it an eight. Travis Etienne, as you know, I drafted three running backs straight off the bat um, because I thought there was a particular tier there to target with PPR. They're all good in terms of receptions. The next tier down and someone I thought would emerge is Travis Etienne, so I really like him as a starter. Um, With regard to the bench, yeah, we can always obviously uh, look at the upside, which is most important, rather than criticise. And I think Chris Alave is a very good pick. I think he's a sleeper that is really going to come on this year. I think he's underrated and I think he's really mm. going to find a role. Um, so, yeah, I like I like this um, roster in the main and say so give it eight out of ten. Like it, man. All right. Well done, Mark. Good explanation. Yeah, look, BJ, it looks like maybe uh, the consensus so far says that you have the best team, but we have a couple more to go, so we'll find okay. out what BJ's <laughs> You're chilling right now. Just lean, back. just lean back. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> Honestly, so far, really, I ain't just saying it. Everybody has drafted a really good team so far. There's some questionable picks like Clyde Everett Solaire, but you know, I'll hear about that all year long, and it's all good. I'll take it. I <laughs> yes, guess you will. <laughs> I got no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to cook you on that one. You got to get yeah, I know you are. I'm going to block all your ugly asses on Twitter, is what's going to happen. <laughs> 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 oh man! 
I love this crowd. I love it. I'm so glad we got together for this. All right. All right. Next team. We got two more to go through over here. Abe, you ready? We're going to start critiquing your team right now. Here we go. Right. Lamar Jackson, who I'll tell you guys right now, my front runner for the MVP of the NFL. So I yeah. love the pick. <laughs> yes. I, I just I wait on quarterbacks and fantasy, but that has nothing to do with how I feel about Lamar. I think that he could have been the MVP last year. What he is going to do again this year is going to be phenomenal with his guys back he's out. He's going so, to take it out on everybody right there. for all the trash that's been talked about him and his contract, how he can't play, can't throw. He is going to yes. unleash complete hell on the National Football League, and I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I can't wait to see it either. I, I'll be the first to admit I am not a Ravens fan, but I freaking love Lamar Jackson's game. It yes. is unbelievable. I never seen a guy more valuable. You know, can we talk about this for one second before we go over his team? I've really never seen one player more valuable to an entire franchise than he is. And we could talk about Thank how great you. Alt is, how great Josh Allen is. You know, Elway with the Broncos back in the day, Adrian Peterson, how important he was to Minnesota. On and on and on. I've really, guys, and I want to go around real quick and get all your thoughts. Darren, you first. I've never seen a player more important to a football team in their success before than Lamar Jackson. I can't think of one. Man, initially my thoughts are you're nuts, but man, I you know this like I'm thinking that's crazy, but because uh, I don't have time to think about it. I know he's important to the team for sure because how much oh, yeah. he's how much he does. But whew, that's some big air you're putting him in there with that call. With that call there. I so I hear what you're saying though. He is he is damn important to their team, but Mahomes <laughs> is he better? Is he more I understand. Mahomes to this team? I don't know. That's where I get kind of yeah yeah. So I hear you though, like. I, I'm with, I'm not as high as Brian is on Lamar Jackson. I like I think he's definitely top ten. I'm just I need to see another year from him. I, I just need to see that again from him. I think that's fair enough. Good. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I'll say this about you know I, I you know Patrick Mahomes. Obviously, I mean he, he he's great. I still think he's the best quarterback in the league. But as far as again the whole value thing is concerned, we saw when Lamar Jackson went out last year. What happened to Baltimore and yeah. even their defense? The whole team fell apart. And even Chad Henney was able to make some plays happen with Mahomes going out. I'm not calling Henny to save him. I'm not doing it. I'm not <laughs> you doing it. Put your hands down. You stop it. You no, get your hands real, down real, off real, your face. Real. You stop it right now. You guys, you, you guys are driving me crazy, dude. You got you're driving you me crazy. stop it. The question was, what was the question? What was the question, Jason? Who's the who's, who's more valuable to their team? Ever? Is that what you said? I said that Lamar Jackson is more valuable to any organization I've ever seen in my life. Ever. Okay, first of all. The reason why you think that is because the organization has done him dirty by giving him no talent around him, first of all. First of all, that's how good he is. No justice at all. Mm. Second of all, when he got hurt, the backup quarterback did okay with still no talent around him, right? That's why he's a valuable piece that people are trying to trade for right now. <laughs> the backup. But right? Hold question, on, hold on, question. hold on. Hold on. And did y'all forget about Barry Sanders? You take Barry Sanders off any Lions teams, <laughs> what are they doing? Barry Sanders went to one NFC championship Barry and they Sanders lost. They got their the butt kicked. Running back ever in the NFL, period. If he right, but how, how, how valuable? He have broke he, he's better than Walter Payton? Jim Brown? Do we have, have that discussion? Do we have to have this discussion? Listen, I love Sweetness, but Sweetness had a team around him, right? Right? Yeah, he but Barry. the best defense ever, right? Yo, but Terrell, that's the point. Barry Sanders, as great as he was, he still couldn't make Detroit a relevant team. Dude, how can you make the whole franchise relevant? They have two 0 in 16 years. I mean, damn. Yeah. I, it's a terrible thing. Terrence Brown made 275 a game. Sweden is dead. Oh Walter John, Payton, if Walter team, Payton, I, 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 I had to bring this up. Walter Payton, Jim Brown, then Barry Sanders. I'm sorry. That, that That's my top three. I mean, hey, I'm like, that's my top three. Mayden, I mean, he was great, but. I just feel like Barry Sanders did more with nothing. With Walter nothing. Payton would play play without a quarterback and wide receivers and play behind a, a, a deficient offensive line. And he still went to 200 yards a game. How many times did the defense make a sack and get the fumble when the ball's at the one yard line? The sweetness. We're not talking about the 85 beer. We're not talking about the 85 beer. We're talking about we're talking about we're talking about before. I've seen videos all day before. with the sweetness diving over the top of the pile because the defense made a play. Just okay, but hey, here's a thought though, man. Barry Sanders didn't win games. Lamar Jackson winning games. That's Thank what I'm you. saying. Yes, single handedly. Single handedly. Exactly. Man, That's I the was point. listening to Terrell. I get it, man. Matthew but Stafford, I'm, I'm, I'm winning games. I get your point. I respect your point. Right here. 
I, I, hey, mm. I'm not going to disagree with that. Okay, but, then. You put, Barry Sanders, put Barry Sanders in place of Emmitt Smith with that office line in Dallas. What's oh, going on? That, uh, oh, come on. No, that, 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 <laughs> what's going that's on? That's a that? fail safe argument, and what's you know it. What's going on, then? Yo. You put John put John Elway on them Joe Montana 49er teams. He would have won four Super Bowls. We're not arguing about John Elway. Yeah, but I give you one. No, 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 no. I give you one. I give you one. No, 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 no. I give you one. I saw on Twitter here recently. Take Warren Moon and put him on those Denver teams that John Elway can be over the top. Warren Moon has about five rings right now. I'm with you. Warren Moon's another one. Has at least five rings. At least five. I thought about Warren Moon when he said the question. He's another one of those guys. Absolutely. Warren Moon is one of the greatest that we never talk about. Absolutely. I love him. And if you put him on the team way, in he Denver, he has to be one of the nice and, and that little bit of a running game and that I'm defense they had, he's got I'm five rings right now. What I'm about Rand, Rand, Randall, Randall yeah. Cunningham? Randall? Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham. <laughs> if you put if, 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 if they actually gave Randall a decent running game, to be honest, he had the receivers. If they gave Randall, if they gave Randall Cunningham a decent, a decent running game, four rings. At least four, yeah, three yeah. or four. Dan Marino, if they gave him a running game and they gave him any sort of defense, he didn't have a couple win. At a minimum, yeah. five. Well, y'all were talking about about at teams. a minimum. Oh, these guys, no. That 84 well, Dolphins that team? That 84 Dolphins team, if they had a running game? No offense, Jason. No, 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 no offense, 84 Dolphins fans. I know. They are not winning the Super Bowl that year in 84. They wouldn't have. If they had, if they had a semblance of a running game with those receivers in that defense, the Dolphins win the 84 Super Bowl. It's possible. It's possible. And, and, and they probably would have went back in 85 instead of losing to New England. Right. And if you remember, the, the Miami Dolphins, ironically, to save their 72 season, were the only team that beat the Bears in that 1985 season. Exactly. On Monday Night Football. And they would have matched with New Orleans. And, again, it wouldn't have been 46 to 10. It wouldn't have been no blowout. It, no. it wouldn't have been no blowout. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been no blowout. No, I agree. I agree. But I will say this. The 49er team in 84, you're right. It would have been a hell of a better game because Miami was actually leading in the beginning of that game. But that 84 team, they were 15-1, and man. Then, they were stacked. And, it just and then Joe Montana, half. Roger Craig, uh, and, and, and uh, yeah. Freddie, Freddie Solomon flipped the switch on them boys and said, nope, you're not You're not good enough. We're gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's Simple it. as that. Take it over. I'm glad we got sidetracked for a minute. That was fun. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. But yeah. let's go back to it. Mark. Real, real quick, go ahead, Mark. I want to hear what you got to say. Give him a one to ten because uh, right now we're loving BJ's team. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like the team. Um, I think he's very, very strong at running back. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, we was on my team, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Jay. Hold on. Jason, you was critiquing my team, man. You was first to critique mine. <laughs> and, and that's what happened. I got, I got a little jumped up about Lamar Jackson and started freaking out. That's what happened. You're right. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It happens. You're right. No, it's all good. Now I, see, now I see him right there, Lamar Jackson. All right. Forget about his stats from last year. Great pick, obviously. He's probably going to run for 1,000 yards, too. Michael Pittman Jr., only wide receiver they got there right now. Corlin Sutland, I'm not going to lie, I don't love, but Mixon, Dalvin Cook, sweet one-two punch right there. George Kittle, if he's healthy, great. Cam Akers, another thing, if he's healthy, great. Claypool is an athlete, awesome. We'll see what Melvin Gorvin gets during the season. I think Russell Gage is a really sneaky pick right there because Tom Brady loves the slot, so I like that pick a lot right there, Abe. And again, I apologize. And again, if Joku, another guy that you might be able to start, if he shows up, this is a pretty good team right here. I'm not going to lie. Am I in love with it? Maybe not as much as BJ's team, but maybe just because of the wide receivers, I drop it down a notch and maybe go 7.5 on this one, guys. So I go 7.5, Terrell. Uh, uh, Darren, I'm sorry. Darren, you're up next. You know, I'm going to go. I actually like this team maybe more than any of the other teams. I like this team a lot because I feel like for fantasy football purposes, they, they kind of surprise you sometimes from the year, from one year to the next. And I like the idea of having him having Cook with a little bit of a down year and then having Mix in there too with still that upside with Burrow. That is, so I love that combination. And I'm a big Pittman Jr. fan out of India, uh, from the Colts, so I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Dem- Sutton, I'm a little bit unsure of. And you already – you guys, we, we talked enough about Jackson probably. So he's good enough right there. So <laughs> we like him right there. Yeah. And then Renfro and Akers. 
I mean, Acres is a steal. I thought about getting him there, so Acres is a big time steal. And then I like his. Best, I, I like his team. I think it's to me, it's one of the best teams I've seen. So I'm going to go eight point five actually. Okay, not bad, not bad. I right there. Like, yeah. I know the name. I know right. the star. I know the star quality isn't there, but I don't know. I see a lot of potential for this upcoming year based on. Sometimes in football, the year year to year isn't the same. So that's the reason I'm going to go a little higher for it. I dig it. I dig it. Look, if Cam Akers can have a big year and stay healthy, then I'm all about that. And if Claypool can come out and gauge, you know, yeah, because I did, the one thing is Cortland Sutton. I'm just really not sure about him. But let's keep going around. Um, Throw. What do you think about the team? I like the team. I like a lot of pieces that other people aren't mentioning. Lamar Jackson, I'm not high on. Um, I just <laughs> only, the only reason why the only reason why is the contract, and I wonder if that's going to play in his head when he starts to run the ball because he okay. gets mm-hmm. by running the ball, and he knows one bad hit and that contract's not there. I worry about that part in his mental. Michael Pittman, I love that. That's a good Cortland point. Sutton, Cortland okay. Sutton, I'm kind of iffy on Mixon. I've never loved. You know what I'm saying? I never loved Calvin Cook. I think he's got a gigantic ear. Cam mm-hmm. Baker's huge steal. Cam Akers. Renfro, only reason why I worry about him is because every team Devontae Adams has been on, the number two receiver is non-existent, but maybe once or twice <laughs> a year. Um, Trey Lance, huge steal. I think he's great. Claypool, I worry about him because of George Pickens. They kind of play the same kind of a role, and Pickens is jumping out the gym just like Claypool was before he got hurt. Melvin right. Gordon and Hines, I think are gigantic on the bench. I think those are huge insurance policies. Gage, I don't think I think he's gonna be watered out of it now. They got Julio Jones. I think that I think he's gonna take his spot when um when we get my boy back and Mike Evans and Joku. I think that's just a wasted pick until Deshaun gets there. Um, but I like I mean I like a lot of the value players on his team. I'll give him a seven. Seven. Okay, that's that's not bad at all. All right, I went I went uh, what is it seven seven point five somewhere around there. So we're in the same area right there. All right, Tim, what do you think? Um. I'm going to go along the lines of a seven uh, because there's a lot of potential on this team, I think. Um, Also a lot of hypotheticals as well. Um, Lamar Jackson is one of my favorite players. Um, I love what he brings to the table. I love his attitude. Um, I think in the contract year, you know, people in contract year a lot of times step up. However, um, the problem isn't with Lamar Jackson. It's with the Ravens and, they didn't give him any weapons outside of Andrews. It's, hey, here's your weapon, and we're going to ship him off to Arizona. So I, I have a big problem with what the Ravens did to Jackson. I think that's going to hurt him more than help him. Again, neither here or there. I'm thinking more along the lines of actual football, not fantasy. Uh, he's going to run around. That's his thing. Um, I'm cheering for the guy. What he does, I really hope he does well. Um, kind of looking at the others, Pittman, I think, is going to have a good year, big year. Um with Matt Ryan and Indy. Uh, I'm not high. I'm not as high as everyone else, as I mentioned before with Denver. Uh, but I do think Sutton's going to, is a nice pickup. I like Joe Mixon. Um, I have a personal vendetta with Delvin cook in my other fantasy league because he's <laughs> <laughs> um, much. not going to play him this week. He plays and scores four touchdowns. I have him sitting on the bench. So wow. I'm miffed about that still. Uh, but no, Cook's a good pick if he can stay healthy. Um, Cam Akers is a great steal. Lance, I think, is a great steal. Um, Renfro, I think uh, Terrell kind of nailed it a little bit. Will he kind of get lost with Adams there? Um, Gage, there's a lot of wide receivers in Tampa. Um, and will he be one of those main guys uh, in Tampa Bay now? That's the other thing. Um, but overall, I mean, if – Gage can be one of those guys. Um, you know, if Claypool can, you know, whoever, whatever the situation in Pittsburgh is with the quarterback, which I do think it's a, it, to me, I think they'll be okay at quarterback regardless of who they get. Claypool's going to be the guy, uh, going to be one of the feature guys. Um, I think there's a lot of potential for his team to, uh, for the team to be really good. I just don't think Baltimore did well for Jackson, and that kind of worries me a little bit on that pick. Yeah, they normally don't do well for Jackson, which is just, yeah. just a damn shame. When you have a talent like that, you need to help him out. I mean, he's not going to throw 36 touchdowns and six interceptions every other year when you have players like that. So let's get real. 
yet. But that is certainly one of the best players out there, no question, fantasy-wise and regular football-wise. Uh, what about you, BJ? What do you think? Um, I'm going to go with a 7.5 with the potential to upgrade to an 8. Um, okay. He's got Lamar. Again, he's my vote this year. Although, again, PM15, that's my – that's – they – Hey, that the homie is my guy, man. But um, <laughs> I, I, I think Lamar is going to come out this year with something to prove, and he's going to show the Baltimore front office, the league, and all his critics why he is that guy. I think Pittman this Pittman this year against is he has, has a real quarterback, not Carson Wentz, not a guy who's going to lay down to the two and fourteen Jacksonville Jaguars with the damn season on the line. We all saw that happen last year. I think he's going to have a better year. Miss is going to have a good year. I think Cook, um, if he can stay healthy, I think Cook will be a will, will be a a good pick. Kill the Wolves too. Cam Akers, eh, we'll <laughs> see on him. And I think Rainford, yeah. I think Rainford will have a good year. The one thing that worries me is the bench. Claypool has a tendency to disappear and draw balls. Um, Gordon is going to be splitting times with him and Williams. Uh, the guy Trey Lance from the bench. I think Lance is going to have a good year. I actually have the 49ers yeah. making the NFC Championship game. Oh, that boy. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. And then I'll some. Give a little, I'll give a little something away from my podcast that's coming up. I have them making the championship game this year. Oh, I think yeah. that Trey Lance is going to develop. I think he's one of the guys that has the weapons, the records of weapons around him to succeed. And I think that he will. I mean, he's showing the preseason so far and limited action that, we, that we've seen him in that he can do the job. His job is to yes. go out there, manage the offense, hand the ball off, don't turn the ball over. So far as in the preseason, he's went out there, throwing the football, manage the offense, and not turn the ball over. I think that's going to be his uh, status quo here throughout the season. Um, Hines, I'm not really not really high on him. Russell Gates, same thing. Where the ball is going to be for him at, and, and it can be offense. And I'm kind of out on anybody on Cleveland's offense this year because you're going to have Jacoby Brissett for the first 11, 12 weeks, and then you got a guy in Deshaun Watson who I'll hold off my personal opinion on that idiot uh, who will come back after 800 <laughs> games, 800 days off from playing football that's going to come back in there. So you can't exactly become, expect him to come back in there and be where he was before or what he is now. He's going to take time to get acclimated right. or whatever. So anybody on Cleveland's offense, I'm kind of out on the list for this season. But like I said, 7.5, if everything comes through, uh, injury-wise, everybody stays healthy, elevates their games, gets their numbers, could be 8.5. All right. Not bad. Yeah, there you go. Some, definitely some potential right there for you, uh, for you, Abe, on that one. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like a guy like George Kittle. If he can stay healthy all year and Trey Lance would love to throw to his tight ends, as young quarterbacks tend to do, rookie quarterbacks and whatnot, yeah, I think that could work out. And the same thing with Njoku – where you have Jacoby Brissett and all you other have is, you know, you got Donovan People Jones and Amari Cooper shows up once in a while. So Njoku could surprise some people this year. So it's not not terrible at all. Um, Mark, let's get your thoughts right. on Abe's team and then you're gonna be the last one. Um well I give the team seven and a half. Definitely the strength of this team is the running back room. You know, when you look at Mixon, uh, Cook and Akers, Akers definitely was a steal at the draft position. I actually think yeah. that uh Trey Lance could end up being the starter on this team um, over Lamar Jackson because of the things he's got going for him that Jackson doesn't have um, in terms of the offensive play calling and the weapons. He's obviously got the rushing upside as well, and I think he'll do a lot of off-script plays. He's, he's probably one of the most exciting players that we're all captivated by this year, and I think he could end up starting for this team. So a lot will depend on his development. There's going to be some growing pains, obviously, with him being in effect in his rookie season. But I think he's going to improve and develop as the season goes on and as he gets more comfortable. He's a high, intelligent guy. Where I mark the team down and say so I've only given it seven and a half is I do worry a little bit about the depth um, on the bench, um, some of those pieces that can come in and sub on occasions. Um, and I think there only being one sort of genuine number one receiver there in the team could also be a bit of a setback and that player being Michael Pittman. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the running back room is, is very strong. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark, you're a Niners fan, right? Yeah, I'm a Niners fan, yeah. That's right. That's what I thought. Yep. How many Niners fans we got in here? We got me. We got Mark. We got BJ, of course. You know, we, we need more Niners fans all around. Just, all just to be together. clear with all the Niners fans. I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm a Chiefs fan. Chiefs fan. I know. I know. I'm kidding, man. 
<laughs> I'm trying to get I'm you to come to... over to the other side. <laughs> How many Niners fans got... we got? Two, three. I, I think he's got two in here. Just two. Uh, I was trying for more. Uh, That's all I right. Live the, I live the closest, and I'm not even a Niners fan. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the total opposite side of the country, man. But no, I'm no. loving. It. As far as Trey Lance goes, I I think yeah that again he's just better in Jimmy G in every way, shape, or form. So there's really Thank nothing you. terrible. It's gonna happen. God forbid he gets hurt. I mean, it, th that's all there is to it. He's gonna be able to take us to that next level when he's good and ready. And if that's week eight and on whatever, I'm I'm just very happy that we're finally moving off from him. That's all I got to say. That yeah, people time. Well remember he's, he's only 22 years of age, so yeah. You know, there isn't a great body of work, but what he has shown is an incredible athlete. He's a very, very intelligent guy. And when you hear him in front of the microphone, he's incredibly proficient. And he comes out with some really smart answers and he seems really cool. And I think he's going to show a lot of poise. So, yeah, I'm very excited about him being a franchise quarterback. So am I. I mean, look, I don't want to get too crazy, guys, but when he did make that throw to Gray, you know, that long touchdown pass, another one of our rookie yeah. boys. I mean, that's just something that Jimmy G doesn't do. He can't do it. So that's what gets me excited, you know? Plus the fact that the kid can use his legs. I get very happy about this. Yeah. Jimmy G would underthrow him. Or overthrow him. Uh, Jimmy, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or not even a throw the ball. Or that you? too, yeah. <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have connected, let's put it that way. That's for sure. That's for so, sure. The one thing oh, I was think it was Brian that said that he had the Niners down in the NFC Championship game. I actually am the same way with the Niners. I think they get to the NFC title game. Um, Ooh, right. have them winning the division over the Rams. So that's right. that's where I, how I feel about the Niners. They're going to be in line for a awesome season. So you know, division they, game, yes, division. I mean, not really the NFC is weak. We act that. like that's a big shocker. The NFC is horrible. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, I mean, they are. Like, I mean, like, oh I mean, my God, the 49ers, like, it's going out on a limb, dude. I mean, it's the Rams, the 49ers, and <laughs> honestly, what? it's rooking everybody else, to be honest. To, yeah, I mean, I else? mean, There's I mean, the Pack. Yeah. Right, but I mean, right, but I mean, the Packers can't win the playoff game. Packers, I don't think Packers they, I don't think, yeah. I, I mean, I don't think Bay's going to be that good. I, Minnesota I agree, sucks. Okay. I'm agreeing. New Orleans isn't ready, so I mean, who else do you have? But we're saying it like it's some yeah, shocker out here. Like you said, like you said, the Eagles or the Redskins were going to win the go to the NFC Championship game. I think everybody's I mean, saying the Commanders, right? That's well, I'll tell you something crazy you right now. You got a point. You got a point. I will tell you something crazy right now, and you will remember this. I won't give you my other NFC Championship team, but I'm telling you right now, the Philadelphia Eagles are going to the NFC Championship game. I'm Dang. telling you straight up. Now, Jason, that makes it for your Clyde Edwards Lair pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having you, you put it on the show. You have to wait for the wins. You have to wait for the wins and run back coming is coming on September 3rd here. My here my other team for I pick up for the championship game, <laughs> and it ain't the damn Eagles. Let's put that out there right now. It ain't the Eagles. They could. They could, though. <laughs> could. You know, I could be oh, with the beat right now, but I'm not. But I mean, what we could. NFC is horrible. <laughs> Anybody can. Anybody could do it. Or you got to be healthy at the end of the year. That's one thing. And I don't know if 45 year old Tom Brady is going to be healthy for you, Mark. But I think it was a I great pick. That you Spoiler started. alert! Spoiler alert! Tampa Bay is not making the playoffs. Ooh, that is I'm a hot take. I think that's that division. I got the Saints winning that division. Tom Brady doesn't like pressure up the middle. He just lost a guard last night. His his center is going to the guy retired. Kevin <laughs> Bay's not making the playoffs this year. See, BJ, 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 a shocker would be to say the Saints are going to make the NFC Championship game, not the 49ers. Ooh. That would. Ooh. I mean, they're winning the South. I got them winning the South, but. I'm just saying, that's how you, that's how you stir it up. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, know I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I like controversy. I mean, hey, the, one, one of the things of my podcast is the podcast with an edge, but I'm not going that far. I'm not going that far. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, y'all know where Tom Brady is right now, right? You know, he's been taking off a lot of time. I think yeah, it's because he's got the singer. Yeah, that's the right. That's singer hang out with Giselle on the beach, and, and he, yes. I, I would too. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. If he's you coming all over yeah. Hollywood. If I was 45 yep. years old, there was my wife, and I got to go into Mass Singer and, and get paid for that too with a Fox contract for $40 million in my back pocket, then what I take off to? <laughs> exactly. Training camp. What? what? I love Man, hey, hey, I'll see you on a month, okay? Call me. You got my number. <laughs> right. I'm Tom Brady. Don't you forget it. <laughs> hey, you see all these rings I didn't want, want, want for you in New England? I'll see you on a month, man. Bye. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all good. Hold on, didn't we say there was a Raider fan in the house? Right here. Who oh, said yeah. that? Right here, right here. Fat boy fader. How right do you here. feel about Narrow. that with Dana White saying that, that Tom Brady and Gronk were supposed to be at the Raiders Dana. and Coach Gronk? Oh, yeah. What was that? That was, was reckless. Was that year, he was supposed to be on your team. <laughs> well, if, if anybody, right? no franchise does dumb like the Raiders. And I have been a fan. <laughs> hey, dude, hey. The worst. There's Cleveland. There's Cleveland. There's Cleveland. There is. My dad got season tickets <laughs> yeah. as soon as they moved back to Oakland in '95. He gave them up as soon as they went to Vegas. So I went with them every year. There were some good years early, and then I saw a lot of dumb for a lot of years. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> we still got a team left, right? We still got one team left. We still got the. We still got the A's. They're hanging on. They're hanging on. Yeah, we got um, the, they the Vegas in two years when they get that stadium. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You they know, know the Falcons, Vegas. I mean, come on now. But again, yeah, Brady. Shoot, yo, fifty three hundred yards, forty three touchdowns, twelve picks last year. So Mark, you started. He won't out. have that production this year. No, I, I probably not that much, and I think a lot more interceptions are going to come because I think he's going to be f- forcing the ball in a little more. And, and yeah, I think we're going to have. To and, and isn't Tristan worse hurt or recovering from an injury? Tom better put on an extra flag jacket this year. Boy, going to get hit. <laughs> he's going to get, get, get yeah. hit this year. You better watch out. He doesn't have that same offensive line. I'm with you, man. I'm with you, hundred percent. Better watch out. Them old bones are going to be getting crippled real soon. You better be careful. Yeah, you, you got really still far. He's taking too many hits. He's bleeding from his mouth. Oh my god! I know, right? Right. Yeah, you better watch out. <laughs> Just come here, honey. Relax. <laughs> yeah. But I, so, God, but that the thing, though, I don't get this. You're 45 years old. You're the greatest quarterback of all time. You got a supermodel wife. You got more money than you, you could ever want to make in football. Fox just gave you 375 million over 10 years. The hell are you playing for, man? Hey, I go, Bosh. Love. love. He really love does. Love is not love getting it. hit by Von Miller. Love is not getting hit by by four by three hundred pounds of woman at twenty miles an hour. That's you know not love. That's hurt. That's hurt. PJ, he is going to get smashed one day, and it's going to be like white men can't jump. When the dude got fucking blocked by Wesley Snipes, he went out. He laid yes. on his lady's lap. He's like, "Yep, that's it. Just I'm going to lay on Giselle's lap. I'm done. That's it. Y'all go play. My bunions hurt." I'm going to run away Giselle's lap right now. I'm being no training camp. I'm you kidding me. <laughs> you don't need to be there. I've been doing it for forty game years already. I just signed up for four million dollars with Fox to call games. Hey, man, right, hey, right. it's been nice. I love y'all, but I'm not trying to get hit no more by these big ends. Mm-mm, I'm out. Bye. All right. Peace. <laughs> out of here. The Zell, Going from the shotgun. Massage everything. my back. I, massage my back. Coconut oil, please. Thanks. <laughs> oh, man. But, Mark, yeah, you're the last team, bro. You did take him. You got uh, your running back, Austin, Etler, Austin Eckler, excuse me, and uh, DeAndre Swift, who they're planning on using a lot this year in a lot of multiple facets. DJ Moore, plenty of talent over there. Are they going to be able to get the ball to him? That's a question mark. Deontay Johnson, same sort of thing. They're both great talents, but do they have the quarterbacks to get him there? Zach Ertz, you got, he'll get a lot. Look, Saquon Barkley could be an excellent steal if he can do what we thought he was going to do, especially as a rookie. Then you got Jalen Waddell, Michael Thomas, who does own the reception uh, for a single season. It's great right there. Russell Wilson to even back you up. Darnell Mooney, the only receiver that Justin Fields even recognizes. Rashad Bateman, Kenneth Walker's a great pick. And even Cole Komet is not too bad right there. Again, we know young receivers love tight ends. So, Mark, I think you did a pretty good job. My grade for you is about um, even based off of some potential, even though I don't love the wide receivers so much, I'll still go about 7.5 for him. What do you think, Darren? I got 7.5 too. I, I like it's. I like his team in some regards, too, because of based on the potential as well. The idea that he has Barkley, Eckler, and Swift is pretty good. Three, right? three wide yeah. running backs there. That's pretty good. And then I like the idea of Waddle, too, because he mentioned during the draft about the receiving record there. Uh, I, I kind of have my ifs about their, wide, about their quarterback and then now them getting Hill, how much that affects that, that record and going forward. But I'm with you on a 7.5 mm. as well. Um, I still think Tom is going to do Tom things. He's still going to throw 35 touchdowns. This is what he does. If he doesn't, then whatever, then I'm shocked. But until he does, I'm just going <laughs> to thank him for 35 every year. So uh, it's not a bad quarterback to have as well. You know, you're at least going to be consistent with him. Um, so I give him a 7.5 as well. So, yeah, good pick. 
Yeah, D, I actually agree with you on the Tom Brady thing. I think that because Leonard – look, I like Leonard Fournette, don't get me wrong, but they're going to be more of a passing team, and I don't think their defense is going to be as good. So I think that, yeah, they're going to be throwing the ball a lot. So I like that pick. Yeah, the interceptions are going to come along with it, but so are yards and touchdowns. I don't know. What do you think, Terrell? And I'm going to be biased here. I'm always biased. Of course, everybody thinks their team is the best. I give myself my team an 8. I give him an 8.5. I think his team is the Ooh. best one out of everybody's. Um, and obviously listening to him, we both must think alike because everything he says, we bounce off each other. Yeah, Tom Brady is a question mark. I think Russell Wilson will probably wind up taking that job. But I look at things like who's the number ones, who's going to get the volume of famous football. DJ Moore yeah. is going to get all the volume. Deontay Johnson yeah. is going to get volume. Eckler and Swift, both your running backs, catching the ball out the backfield. Most people just have one. He has two elite pass catchers out the backfield humongous in fantasy football. Zach Ertz is going to be a stud while D-Hop's gone. Saquon Barkley, a bounce back here. Jalen Waddle's going to do enough in that position. Michael Thomas on the bench, who's another one. You know what I mean? And then you got Darnell Mooney. Who else are they throwing the ball to? Him. If they don't, they throw right. the ball to who's also on his team. Lamar Jackson has nobody to throw to put his tight end. He also has the draft pick from last year, Rashard Bateman. Kenneth Walker's going to take that job. And I think that he has the best team out of everybody. I'm set. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Well done, man. Well done. How about, that? How about that? He came out with it hard. He's like, yo, I ain't even going to play. This is better than my team. He wasn't even pissing that around for me. mad flagrant, but okay. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, I win rings, baby. I win championships everywhere I go. So when you got a league I want to get in, show, let, show. You know, let me know. You can show me that right now. Mark, I'll take your ring. Yeah, you know, this was a real league. So at the end of the day, I'm going to be like, I told you. I told you. <laughs> no, nah, you won't be dancing. Right. You won't be My dancing. You'd be like, dang, B. Win. Jones stole that ring from me. Your team is built to win one, two, and three. My team is win championships for me. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> what I mean. Oh, uh, that was a street ass breakdown right there. Yeah, that is very well done. You're right. Number one targets and potential all over the place. Good job, sir. I like it. What do you think, uh, Tim? You, you agree? Um, balance, balance. That's how I see his uh, team as a whole. Um, just balanced across the board. Um, at first, I said seven point five. I'm moving. I'm pushing it up to an eight. Um, okay. DJ Moore. I, I really like him, largely because he still can get the points regardless of who your quarterback is. I mean, he got. You know, he almost got 1,200 yard receiving yards with Cam and Sam last year. So that's that's uh, impressive. He's very fast. I, I'm very high on him. Um, his running backs, I love what he did because he went after those um, those guys that can catch out of the backfield and everything like that. He mentioned yeah. it earlier on was that was his target, and that was a great idea. Um in regards to Brady, we can say whatever you want about Brady. And, yeah, it's kind of – he's gotten that point now where it's like, oh, do I want to play anymore? No, I'll play type will he or won't we – will he or won't he play and everything like that. So you kind of wonder where his head's at. But even with all that, he's still going to put up 30 touchdowns, you know, 30, 35 touchdowns. I mean, he's still going to give, give a solid point total. So I'm not too phased by that. My lone question is the what ifs, like DeAndre Swift, Saquon Barkley, those two, can they stay healthy for a full season? Yeah. Um, and, and Michael Thomas, can he get back to the form or come close to the form he was? Uh, so a lot of my questions have to be with those durability things as well. Uh, the one, and I'm going to add this in as well, and the more and more I look at it, maybe because I'm a Michigan State guy, uh, Kenneth, Wa Kenneth Walker uh, the third. the one thing that he does probably better, he did so well last year at Michigan State and should have garnered Heisman consideration was he can wear you down in late in games. Now, we'll yeah. see how we put in that spot of wearing you down late in games because Seahawks is here. Um, but yeah. outside that, it's a good, it's a good idea and definitely a uh, pick that could be really strong later on. So my biggest question at this point is, can this group 
stay healthy. Can his big, you know, his stars stay healthy? Outside yeah. of that, great draft, great draft. Yeah, no doubt. Breaking news: Michael Michael Thomas has a hamstring injury. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! I don't know the Again. severity. I don't know the severity. It doesn't say the severity, oh. but. It, it's yep. a hamstring. It probably ain't good. Um, Damn we know that. We know my man D. Damian Adams freaking out right now, all over the place. Oh my oh, god, Lord. he's going crazy. Oh Lord, that's rough. No, that was a good breakdown, Tim. I, I like it. And again, I'm with you on Tom Brady. He's still going to put up monster numbers, and there's so much potential on this team. There's no doubt about it. Michael Thomas, look, hey, for your sake, just for this draft, I hope things are going to go all right, Mark. But everybody's loving what you got going on. BJ, I can't wait to hear what you got to say. I did love what he had, what he had drafted until that breaking news came in. That took it from <laughs> no, don't judge him on that, man. Don't judge uh, him. On I'm that. not. Okay, fine. Okay, let's say he's healthy. I'll give him an eight. Okay, I give him eight. That's good. Now, if Slant Boy is not healthy and can't run a route, this Slant immediately boy. goes down. Yes, Slant you know, boy. you know what they call that boy out in the streets. They call him Slant Boy. He had Drew Brees run three yards, run inside on slant, got the ball. Five yards slant, got the ball. Nine yards slant, got the ball. PPR. <laughs> Even still, he's slant. He's slant, boy. Let, let, let's be real. But, again, if healthy, we'll give him a nine. You know, Ooh. I like DJ Moore. DJ Moore is going to be a starter this week, although he doesn't have – although he didn't, he didn't have a quarterback last year. He definitely didn't got one this year. I think he's still going to be a star. Deontay Johnson is going to put up big numbers. So will Eckler. Swift is he healthy? He's going to put up numbers. So will Ertz uh, with the Hopkins Atkins. Saquon Barkley, I think, is going to actually do better this year than last year. Remember, last year he's come off the ACL injury. He was kind of iffy now and then. It's a year, he's a year removed from it. He's going to do better. Jalen Waddle, good pick. Got slant boy. We'll, we, we, you know, we discussed him. Um, I don't think Tom Brady's going to have that great of a year this year. I don't. Right. There's All no right. Gronk. You got Godwin coming up for ACL injury, which means that more times than not, they're going to try to double team Mike Evans, or or, or they're basically going to play um, the safety deep over the top to, treat, to keep him trying from trying to go deep. Russell Gage is not going to really be that guy, in my opinion. He he got he's a good pickup, but he's not that guy. They got Kyle Rudolph, but I mean Kyle Rudolph mm-hmm. to Russell Gron- to Rob Gronkowski. Mm-hmm. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a drop off. Um, oh yeah, it is a drop off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Rashad Bateman is going to be going to be good. Walker with that hamstring injury. What team are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> He's talking about Apes, uh, uh, Mark's team. That's not the same team, though. What? Where did you, where did you jump to? Yeah, the one with Tom Brady? Yeah, you keep talking about Alave and everybody else. No, no, no. I said nothing about Alave. No, I'm saying no. Slant Boy. Michael Thomas. Slant yeah, Boy. Yeah, he's talking Slant Boy. Slant Boy. Slant Boy. You know, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Three yards and in, five yards and out, nine yards and in, twelve yards and out. Slam oh my boy. god, yo! <laughs> Ooh, yes. I, hate to say, I hate to say this about his team again. Now Kenneth Walker, the second, got hurt. Uh, Are you crazy? Oh wow! Uh, wow! He's still, under, he's still tender. And hey man, I'm just talking about bad news, man. You did, you're not you're not helping me, man. I'm talking this man. Oh, hey, yeah. you you downgrading him now? Uh, he's about eight point oh, five. You like? You are downgrading this man. I'm trying to help this man out. And you, 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 you're not helping. <laughs> we didn't know that. I was about to start We didn't know that. He's a smart that's, guy. That, he would have took these people if he knew they were going to be hurt. He's very intelligent. That's right. Tell. That's right. That's, that's why we call him bad. I'm going to give him a 7.5 and I'm going to stop before we get any more breaking news coming about somebody else in the roster. He got hurt. That's no, no more bad <laughs> 7.5. 7.5. He said PM don't get injured. <laughs> Mark, we are loving your picks, man, so far. You are up there in the runnings for best team, and Abe is going to be the last one to break it down for you over here before you give yourself your own ranking. What do you got, Abe? One to ten. What do you think? What do you like? What do you know? Hey, Mark, I'm going to make it quick before anybody else gets hurt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only, the only concern that I have is uh, – I'll give you an eight. Um, Saquon Barkley, just, man, he hasn't – I mean, history proves itself. 
And Tom Brady, I agree with Terrell that uh, hey, he ain't got an O line. So, mm. and he's not a running quarterback anymore. So, but that being said, Russell Wilson is a good, a decent throw in. We don't know how he's going to do in Denver. From what I hear, Nathaniel Hackett's offense really isn't uh, coming up to snuff so far. So, mm. but, but he is Russell Wilson. So, that being said, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get off of here before any of your other guys go down. But hey, yeah, bro, we, we, good we, job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Done well, definitely, Mark. Mark, if you had to go ahead and uh, rank your team from one to ten, what would you give yourself? I'm not actually gonna rank it, but what I will say is that I had a strategy which I wanted to draft three running backs straight off that had PPR. The rest of my players, I wanted to have high volume, to have looks, to be number ones. And that was the that, that was basically the profile what I was looking for. So therefore, you know, I feel like I've achieved. Obviously, whenever you go for a draft, it's how the board falls to you. Mm-hmm. And I didn't prioritize quarterback. It was obviously came quite late on in terms of my positions because obviously I went running back and wide receiver. So to pick up Brady and Wilson at the place that it is that I did in the draft, I'm happy with. Obviously, I wasn't expecting to get, you know potential there with the MVPs in terms of Mahomes or Herbert, for example, Jackson, you mentioned, but I'm very happy with the quarterbacks where I've got them, you know, pick, I think they're good value. Um, so yeah, I mean, you never know when you come into a strategy because you can only control what you can control. There are variables, obviously how you guys pick, but uh, I stuck to my board and for that aspect, I feel good about my draft, but like anything, you know, as I said, when I opened up, you can lose, a championship by drafting badly you won't win a championship by drafting well what you do is you give yourself a foundation and you obviously have to make moves within the season using the oh, waiver right. wire trades etc so this is a good base for me but it's far from the finished article and on the basis that you know this is the first time that you guys have met and you've obviously got a lot of knowledge etc and i've really enjoyed like sparring with you and listening to you and everything else it's been an absolute pleasure i've learned a lot but, you know, I've gone up against a competitive field and I'm really happy with how I've done. All so thanks, right. I like that. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate, you know, uh, critiquing. You know, I've learned a lot from you guys. It's important to listen. Um, you're never the finished article and nor is this team. And uh, But I'm, you know, happy with how I've drafted and I'm really pleased with what you've said. So thanks very much. Uh, well, thank you, Mark. I'm, I'm glad you joined. I mean, everybody, D- Darren, Terrell, you know, Brian, Abe, you know, even the guys who weren't here, Antoine and uh, Brian, Tim, thank you guys so much. I mean, this was a hell of a lot of fun, and I'm going to have to get you all back on, and we're going to have to talk a lot more quarterback action about Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, all these other things. Or Derek Carr, I'm going to try to pick you up, Darren, on your boy over there, because I think good things are going to happen. Uh, you should be happy. <laughs> You should be happy. But let's go around real quick because it is getting late. We're all going to get out of here. It is Sunday evening. But, uh, Darren, tell us where we can find you, what you got going on next. I want to go around the board. Uh, that's only 4.55 here, buddy, but we'll go here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we go, boy. We go, we go west. We're a little earlier here. We're a little earlier. Uh, out there on the East Coast, I have no, I, I no idea how you guys do sports out there. So, oh, man, it's, it's like already dark over here. It's terrible. I, know, I saw the light. I was like, it's dark. <laughs> I never, I never did. <laughs> Uh, hey, you can find us at Fat Boy Fadeaway Sports. Uh, we join Variety Sports Network. Right, we still got the do. sun. So it's been great with that. And uh, yeah, uh, obviously, I've tweeted with a few of you guys online there. I know, Brian, I've interacted with you, especially a little bit more here. So it's good to see you face to face with my man. And, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, look forward to maybe, uh, maybe you can have you guys on my podcast once in a while, too. So and talk some football. So it's uh, look for us on Fat Boy Fadeaway. Looking to do big things here. So thanks again, Jason, for inviting me on, joining these guys doing it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm glad you came, man. It was a lot of fun. You definitely brought your stuff, bro. I appreciate it. It's great to put a face, you know, with the name. You know, it really helps out. And again, with you, Terrell, also, man. It, but you made my ass. You made me laugh. You busted me up at CEH today, and you drafted a really good team. <laughs> so what do you got going on next, man? Where can we find you? Oh, man. Relism Sports Talk at on YouTube channel, podcast, all, all platforms and everything. I do a live show Good. on Wednesday, and I'd love to have featured guests. So anybody that's here, anybody listening, want to jump on. I love different kind of debates. Friday nights is my Raw show, so it's Realism Raw. That's where I have a lot of my friends on, and we all debate just like this, and it gets kind of crazy sometimes. That's why I put Raw. So 
Um, I love it. You know, if you don't want to see, hear some cursing sometimes or some <laughs> whatever, you know what I'm saying? Watch the Wednesday show. Don't watch the Friday show. Like I, said, right, right. I love to collab with anybody, everybody, whatever. I'm on Twitter at Terrell452. Um, like I said, Red Listen Sports Talk, man. Thank no you for doubt. the support. I want to support you guys. Let's, let's all make it happen, man. Oh, for sure. No doubt. Yeah, we've been rapping a lot lately. We're going to continue doing that all football year long and then some. No question. I mean, I, I love this family right here. It's great. Tim, we've been going at this for years, bro. It's I, I can't believe it's the first time we're actually doing the show together. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for having me again. I've really enjoyed it today and also prepares me for my draft in a couple of weeks, even though that's a 12-team league. So I'm kind of like, okay, okay, maybe I learned some pointers and everything like that. So Learning experience as always. Um, you can find me at uh, on Twitter um, and my blog page at sportsblog.com slash obstructive viewer and my where are you and twitter.com slash obstructive view too. Um, I basically just throw in my two cents and a lot of times my two cents are way wrong. So <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Well, no, I love talking sports. Yeah. That's, that's the main thing. I just love talking sports. It can be, you know, this time of year, I really love it because it's football's right around the corner. Baseball's in the thick of it. And, and you know, some throwing some basketball here and there. But football, yeah. definitely, that's where I really love talking about the most. So, again, thank you oh, for yeah. having me out here for sure. Oh, my pleasure, man. Football is all our bread and butter. There's no doubt. And you can throw in your two cents any one. It's way more than two pennies. So uh, we'll take your advice anytime you want, man. No question. No question. And BJ, you're always rocking out, man. I mean, oh, me and you always been talking, going at it. We, we're, we're Twitter brothers, but now, you know, real life family brothers, man. It's great to see you, bro. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it. My name is Brian Jones Sr. I am the host and the executive producer of two podcasts. The End of Zone with Brian Zones podcast, and also the Wednesday Runback, which premieres on September 3rd and 7th. Woo. This year coming up, I got the Zone Reblog premiering January 2023. I'm getting back to my writing deal, uh, content, curating the whole deal. I just want to thank Jason for having me on. This has been a ball of fun. I appreciate it myself. Like I said, I was on the, the uh, Power 32. They did it. Russell Wilson got traded. It was a wild time. The fun time did. Right. It's been a wild and fun time now, man. Appreciate you having me on, brother, man. Hey, big thing's coming. Trust me. Oh, you know it, baby. Hey, anytime, man. You know, you're one of my favorites, bro. I love you. Absolutely. I love this family over here. And Abe, you've been part of the family for a long time, my man. Yes, every time sir. I hear every time I hear Abe, I think Broncos. Every time I hear Broncos, I think Abe. I swear to God, you guys are just like in conjunction. That's the way it goes, man. <laughs> I'm from Denver, man. Gotta represent. Hey, Good. I don't have crap going on. My son currently <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like all you guys. So, hey, Jason, that being said, I appreciate you inviting me to all this. And um, uh, will you throw everybody's uh, uh, ets at Twitter so I can follow these guys? Oh, without a doubt. Without like a doubt. Like how, no. how you usually do, like follow these people? Because I – I'm going off my phone right now, and I can't read crap. I'm getting old. <laughs> I got you, baby. <laughs> but, hey, I wish I had time to do the things that you guys do because it, this this has been a ball of fun. But that being said, I want to give a shout-out right now, if you guys don't mind. I'm up here in Seattle at Children's Hospital with my son. So, oh, say, I didn't know you were there, man. Hey, hey what's hey, up, buddy? Hey, hey, how's it going, man? Hey. 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 All right, hey. hang in there, man. We're praying for you, brother. Yeah, no, so is he a yeah. Bronco fan too? Nah, is man, he... look at this crap. What's he got? What's, what's he got over here? Oh, oh, no. oh he's a Hawks oh, fan. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. Yeah, right. man. My 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 mother in law, uh, she hijacked him in Super Bowl 48. <laughs> he, that is he was, so messed he, up that's like one of your worst moments man that's terrible yeah oh, so uh him and my other son were bronco fans grandma was rooting for the hawks and um he went to the dark side he went to <laughs> uh, uh, that's best. Hey, hey. Spe especially 43 to 8 yeah that was a yeah, oh, real boy. Kick yeah. In the <laughs> 
But well, hey, I'm no. sorry to say to say, but I got I, I got to root for your son, man. Yeah, that's the way to go. Got to no, root I for appreciate absolutely. you guys. Right. He's he's in remission. Um, he went through his last round of chemo. All right. last, last week, so hopefully he'll be going home around September 15th. Okay. So, okay. He's in our thoughts and prayers, be, man. Definitely. They, so, definitely, man. We're praying for him. They, no doubt. No, that would be better reason. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah, we got. Yeah, he's got to figure out. I can go see his quarterback. I mean, look, hey, look, CJ's got the end, quarterback. That's who his quarterback is. Yeah, that's a Thursday. That's a Thursday, the fifteenth, right? Because that'll be better than any Thursday night football yes. game they can put on. That'll yeah, be the best. Absolutely. Music yeah. Yet. But and the Broncos play the, the Hawks on the twelfth that Monday. Ooh, <laughs> right. I'm yeah. hoping. I'm hoping he can come home before that game. Me, we all do. Hey, we Jason, do. I was just going to say, Abe, yeah. I, uh, my son got diagnosed with leukemia when he was three. He's nine now. And he went through oh, wow. three years of treatment. So I feel you on what you probably went through, my man. So awesome. right, whenever somebody Absolutely. says Absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know there's hidden things that go with the process with that crap. So oh, bro. Stuff. I'm praying with you on stuff. It's, so been a long, it's been a long five months, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Power <laughs> prayer, baby. Power of prayer. Yes, yeah, hey, I definitely yeah, change with things. Sure. But hey, I appreciate you guys. I want to follow you, uh, and I, hey, I, Jason, I appreciate this this experience one hundred percent, man. Oh man, again, bro, really, the the pleasure is all mine. And we'll be doing this again. And right now, all I'm thinking about is your boy and how he's going to be getting out of there happy, watching football soon. So that's all that matters to me at the moment. And right. this has been a total blessing in so many different ways. And of course, save. The best for last, all the way from the other <laughs> side of the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Over there, who may have the best fantasy team out of all of us. What a great yes. job, bro. I'm so glad that you uh, that you made it, bro. Yes, uh, just gone one AM here, but it's you know, it's been an absolute pleasure and honestly, I um, sending nothing but positive vibes to you and your son. And Thank from you. this side of the pond, you know, prayers up and uh the 15th obviously can't come soon enough, but it won't be long that you've got better and happier and healthier days. And that's really what I pray for for you and your son. Yes, so uh, wish you the very best with that and that you enjoy this season together and make the very best of it, despite obviously being uh, at cross swords with your teams. But uh, yeah, it's a friendly rivalry. And uh, yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And I think, I think it's great that you've done this alongside him um, and he's managed to share in, you know, obviously something that he really enjoys football and listen to all our banter and our enthusiasms. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, I mean, I just love this game. Um, it is the best sport in the world. I mean, I've had the privilege to, you know, go to a Super Bowl in the States. I've been over to Candlestick. I've been to Tampa Bay, etc. I'll be going to see the Green Bay Giants game here in London because obviously we get some games here in London. So Very I'm not just an enthusiast or a fanatic. I'm a supporter of this game. And any time I get a chance to talk about it and share opinions and ideas about the game. It's an absolute privilege. So to be invited to this draft and to meet you guys, I mean, Jason and I have interacted a bit in the past, but I only set up yes. my Twitter account two years ago to have opportunities like this. Um, I'm approaching nearly 5,000 followers and obviously a lot of them are this side of the pond as well, which shows that the game is very popular over here. We have got a really, really enthusiastic fan base and, our knowledge and experience and intelligence with the game is improving all the time because when you've got the right attitude with it and you've got the passions for it, that's a lethal combination. Mm. So, uh, look, you know, I'm hoping that this is going to be the start of, uh, you know, great friendships with you all and with others that are out there. I hope they've really enjoyed this broadcast and learned, you know, from things and enjoyed it as much as I have. So, yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to the season. It's not far away now. And, um, you know, he's going to have some friendly rivalries with you whether it be to do with oh, fantasy yeah. or whether it be on the pitch with our teams, you know? Absolutely. Oh, boy, we're going to have a lot of fun. Guys, I got to tell you, we're going to me, Damien, and Nikki are going to be calling some games this year. I would love to have, like, you guys come in, like an Eli Manning Peyton thing, have you come in for a block and just, like, do, oh, man. I, oh, man. Down, this I'm down, I'm down. Oh, do I know it. it. Uh, you guys are first on the list. And, yes, I will be at and everybody, so make sure we're all following because we are family now. And I could not – honestly – this is one of the best three hours I've spent in the last the whole freaking year. I had so much fun, guys. Thank you so yeah. much. This was, thank, thank you. Thank you. And go yes, Mets, baby. Go Mets. Yes, sir. You know <laughs> it. My man right there. Oh, That's so right. Great. Hey, bro, quick. One more thing before we get out of here. What's your boy's name? Jace. J-A-S-S. Jace. 
Then Jace. this one is for Jace. Jace, all for you, baby. We love you, man. Get out of Absolutely. there safe, bro. Jace. Yeah, Jace. Hey, I appreciate you guys, man, a lot. Thank you. It means a lot. No. All right, Abe. Hang in there. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, out. boys. All right, guys. We are out of here. More football to come. I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the podcast. Nice See you later. Nice Peace. Week here, Bye. Peace. Hey, y'all stay Indeed. up.